Hello everybody, Salam MCO and <laughs> welcome to Talk Gear and today we have Jeff from King of Rims. All right, so uh, <laughs> hello guys. Jeff, how are you doing? Good to be back. You know, MCO is coming up. You heard the news a couple hours good. ago. Uh, is coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't know. It's, it's very, very depressing. Yeah, yeah. the business is actually a bit slow. Uh, no people were there to come up right now, but it's a good thing. I have to every, just try to get the, the number going down. So I, I was I, I was making fun is that everyone business has got a lot of things to do with the, the number of the infected. The, the more infected, the business going even, even lower. So I uh, have to... Have yeah, to that's cool. All right, that, yeah, we have, we got a. Mm. It's it's a tough situation now. You got to juggle business and also, yes. you know, um, But but uh, we we'll hope we we'll hope yeah. that at least this point of time, you know, we can provide some entertainment and at least for now, you can still uh, you know, educate more people. Yeah. So maybe in the future, we got more business as well. No, let's hope that yeah. happens, lah. Right. Okay, great. So uh, guys, so, welcome to talk here. Uh, mm. today's topic we'll talk about rims for sure, as you know. But uh, I just want to quickly introduce Jeff a bit. I met Jeff through King of Rims. Uh, actually, one of the more friendly uh, tire guys I've known. Uh, so I met him when I had my BMW M235i. It was a black color BMW. And then I was I wanted the PS4S and then a Michelin PS4S. Uh, but I was really confused about how to get it done. And then uh, through WhatsApp, you know, uh, through his, one of his ads, and then we did, we did messaging so long back and forth. And I was surprised he entertained me for so long yeah, yeah, until yeah. I decided to to got my uh, bigger rims and fit the PS4S. And I told him I like a stock feel. And then he even helped me find a BMW, original BMW rim. So uh, Jeff has been very great with service. I eventually became friends with him. And uh, all my cars, all tires change with him. All my tires change with him because uh, it's not just in the Michelin that I like, but uh, the service that they provide in uh, King of Rims. And, and and Jeff is a friend, you know. So it's just nice to go to your friend's place and support your friend. Uh, that's how I got to know him. All right, so uh, if you guys don't know where Jeff is, he's in Shah Alam, King of Rims. You can Google King of Rims, you'll find him. Okay, so that's how I met Jeff. And uh, Jeff, why don't you uh, introduce yourself to the audience as well? What do you do? Hello, hello, guys. I'm Jeff Leo. So I'm the uh, I'm running the King of Rims business. So basically, uh, we are in the tire tire business, uh, tire and sport rim business for more than thirty over years. So right now, uh, as you know, King of Rims, we do have a lot of uh, sport rims. Right now, currently, we have more than what two thousand set of brand new rims for <laughs> cater to all kind of cars. So, so if you are looking for sport rims, um, trust me for whatever car it is. Trust me, we we'll probably have something for you. So that's the thing. And then, and then I still I do remember uh, me talking to Thomas. I think back and forth like one or two months before mm -hmm. before we really meet each, each other. And then uh, talking about it, uh, PS4, uh, PS4 and PS4S. And then yeah, we back over eighteen to nineteen inches. So <laughs> I still I still remember. Yeah, I still remember. yeah. I went I went I went for my stock uh, eighteen, and I went to nineteen yes. PS4S, and, then, and, and I, I went for a wall signer. I think it's a VFF uh, yes. uh, one zero two. Yes. I think. I can't remember. Uh, no, the beer is uh, the, the the nineteen is is one o three. I think I don't know. I think it's one o three. And then after that, yeah. after that, then then uh, went then down we, to eighteen we again. Down back to eighteen <laughs> inches. Ah, uh, then it's was signer so. And then we yeah. went to the because and then then we have to, because of course that is uh, the, the, the 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 car. I mean, yes, for nineteen inches, the tire is a bit thin. So yeah, we went for went for eighteen mm. inches just to have more more comfort right now. Yeah, uh, but but along the way, I felt really comfortable uh, doing it because uh, there was a lot of assurance mm -hmm. along the way, a lot of advice. So it wasn't just a place I buy something and and just go. It was lot a lot of like making sure I was okay, mm -hmm. making sure the fitment looks nice. What's the maximum? What's the minimum? What's the expectation? Like Jeff would tell me, okay, you go two, three, five in front, you might get some rubbing. Like it was, it was a lot. Of, yeah. A lot of honest business, and I really yeah, like that. We, 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 uh, yeah, I remember we did try, and then we, we fit two, three, five, and then it touches, and then I have to uh, straight away remove it, and then put two, two, five back to you. Yeah, so, and yeah, I really appreciate, it. and that's 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 what I like about King of Rims, uh, where where Jeff really focused on making sure to take care of you. So uh, after that, we just became friends, lah. Yeah. So if you're looking for King of Rims, uh, they they have a. Uh, I don't know how to say how big is it, but basically, probably half the shop is all rims. Uh. <laughs> uh, yes, right now, right now you know, I don't left, have right, right space, side. Yeah. Oh, they've got rims, you know. Yeah. So, so it, it, I, I, I can attest to what Jeff says. You, you, you have a car and looking for certain rims, you can find it. If you cannot, he don't have it, he will find it for you also. So, really, the, the nickname King of Rims. Do our best. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So, uh, everyone, welcome to today's topic. Yeah. We're going to talk about uh, original rims versus replica rims. We're going to demystify and uh, clarify what what is replica rims. Is the word we throw around so much, you know? So we're going to talk about replica rims. What's the limitation? What the stories Jeff have around replica rims? Um, and how to identify whether you're getting a fake original rims or real original rims. So all of that today. Okay. So if you've got any questions, please ask them. Please say hi on the chat so Jeff and I can read all your messages. Uh, Roshan, hi Roshan, Sarana, Sarah Banan, uh, Kenneth Song, good to see you again. Right, uh, when MCO is over, I still owe you interior detailing and then uh, set you up with uh, Josiah. Uh, Ronio Jensen, hey Jensen, good to see you again. Thanks for supporting every single talk gear. Derek as well, uh, uh, Delson, Harish, Harish, thank you so much for tuning in. Please say hi on the chat, let us know where you're tuning in from, and then uh, we'll, we'll say hi. hi, Brandon, hi, Eugene. Hi, Daryl Wong. All right. So, yeah. And feel free to ask any questions to Jeff about rims, fitments, whether it's spaces, anything. Uh, take this opportunity to ask as much questions as possible. Jeff, if you don't want to talk to us, you can hang out with all the other guys in the chat box because every time we run talk here, the chat box becomes full of people just, just hanging out and just talking to each other because <laughs> we can't drive, so we just come and talk about it, okay? And if you find this topic useful for you, please share it on your page. Share it to your friend. Ask them to come online and just watch with you and just have a chit chat and just have fun. All right? Grab yourself a drink, get yourself some food, and just have a good chat. Okay. So, uh, by the way, before we end, uh, before we go into a break, uh, Jeff, we have a special gift, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. But the only at the end yeah, of the yeah, show, we do. We do. So, for like, so, so, like um, uh, yeah, yeah. So, what's the gift? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, so, so it's uh, it's for the first twenty packs that uh, if you if you put in your you send us your name, your hey, phone wait, number, wait, wait, and then wait, your we don't uh, tell them we don't tell them how to do it. Wait, wait, wait. We don't tell them. We tell them what's the gift first. The gift is what. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's a, is? It's a it's a it's a free, a free balancing uh see free balancing and tire rotations. Ah, so, yeah. yeah you so you're have. gonna give yeah. uh, Jeff is gonna offer up very very graciously mm -hmm. and generously offer. Uh, up to 20 people free tire balancing and uh, free um, uh, tire rotation. Okay, but you have uh, to wait to the end of the show. Around one hour later, at the end of the show, we're going to show you how to claim it only in the first 20 packs. Right, so stay tuned for it. Okay, okay. So uh, with that, we're gonna go for a quick break and we jump back in. We're gonna come back and start clarifying the first question: What is replica rims? Because it's the word. Everyone throw around what the heck is rubber car rims, uh, and uh, we're gonna demystify that. Okay, so more of that after the break. Let's go for a quick break, and then we come back straight into that question. All right. Save about thousand plus. Workout even more. It's worth for two hundred plus. Four hundred bucks of savings. Okay, welcome back. All right, let's see who's on the chat here. Hey. All right, we have uh, Baldwin. Hey, man. Hey, Baldwin. Lester, Rodney, Dinesh, Forge for Speed, Brandon, Ruben. Hey, Brandon from Singapore. Hey, man. You guys are going to a circuit breaker. We're going to go through MCO. <laughs> hey, Ruben, uh, watching from Macau. Thanks for watching, man, all the time. Irfan. All right, Irfan is the, the he, he, oh, he goes to King of Rim as well. He's the Mini Cooper, the green color one. Uh, Paulus, all right, oh, yeah. Con, great, great. Okay, so um, we're going to jump straight into the topic. Replica rims versus original rims. But before we start the topic, hey, Bobby, <laughs> hey, Bobby Young. Bobby Young is here as well. 
Okay, we're going to talk about what is the, the, the word replica rims is such an overused term. Like, but uh, I know we all Malaysians, it seems like this market here loves replica rims, right? So what, what is the definition of replica rims? Like, do you mind to share the audience what, what, so, what, so, what the question is? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. And one thing is that uh, Malaysia is not, not only saying about replica rims. Mean, so there's many terms for it. So replica rims, uh, OEM rims, uh, copy rims. So so many many words towards uh, represent this this item. So but uh, we have to be quite clear about what's the definition of replica. <clears throat> so so my after after many years of doing this kind of business, so my definition of replica rims will be that uh, a certain product which imitate the, the 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 product which they want to imitate. And then they they twist the design and then they put in a lot of uh, accessories like stickers and then they sell as the rim itself they sell it un, uh, as the rim itself so so maybe this certain brand is not a uh, race but they, they they can put a lot of wording like sometimes they the R -A, R, R, race r-a-y-s they can put it r-a-v-s but and then the font everything is the same so they, they try to uh copy as as close to the original design and then they sell it as the, the design itself. Uh, to me, that's the very, very clear definition of replica rims, copy rims, and uh, uh, that's not what I'm saying, that the OEM rims as well. So so uh, Malaysian really don't say a lot about replicas, but they say copy, uh, uh, copy, chat ayam, a lot, a lot, a lot of names. So, so, so co copy is the same, same effect. I mean, the definition to be quite clear. Mm. Mm. So, so they, copy they, rims, they, they, they copy rims, they, they copy yeah. the design, so it's not manufactured by the by by race, for yes. example, or uh, but they, they just change a few words. It's, it's not manufactured by that room. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they twist this design a bit and then maybe maybe just just maybe some a, a, a bit different design and then they basically when you look at it, it's still the that design that is very, very significant design that you, you look at it. So people will buy it or, or because it's actually designed, but um, it's not belong to the brand. Uh, it has nothing to do with the brand. So that's very very clear definition of replica rims to me. So yeah, I see. So mm. replica rims is like it's it's trying to copy uh, another aftermarket rims manufacturer, uh, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, where where do this really come from? Do they come from uh, uh which countries do they manufacture? Well, well, there's there's many many countries actually manufacture these kind of things. But I mean, uh, for Malaysian history, uh, initially it start from uh Taiwan. Mm. Taiwan, I mean, talking about, let's say, maybe like maybe uh, 10 years ago or maybe uh, 10 years ago, those that's time, a lot of things actually come from Taiwan. But as time progressed, and then China is getting uh, stronger and stronger. And then right now, I think that the tax incentive, also they have more, uh, they, they produce chi a lot in China. So Malaysia have a lot of uh, replicas uh, from China. The, the history is actually quite long. You're talking about 10 to 15 years. So the history is actually quite quite so Malaysian when when people uh people still have the the mindset is that when you make China, it means uh, replica rims. So there's another another thing is that oh when you make in Japan, uh, is definitely original rims. Or made in Germany or made in Italy is definitely original rims. So yeah, this is this is where it come from. So but are they are they replica rims from Germany from Japan from uh um, Italy as well? Actually, actually, from for I mean, you're talking about last uh, last few years ago. Uh, I seen some replica rims from Germany as well. And I seen some replica rims from other those uh, Japan. Even Japan also produce uh, replica rims. Means that oh. they they is produced there, but they copy design. But right now, uh, you it's very it's almost impossible for you to see. There's a few reason because that the, the the cost of production there is so high, so so it doesn't make sense for them to produce uh. Uh, replica rims. So the 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 reason why replica can sell is actually because that the cost is a lot lower. Uh, if you if you make in China, definitely the cost is going to be significant, very very low compared to. So the, would you the see the the products. majority people so, who buy replica rims because they like the design and they want something cheaper, right? Yeah. All right. Sorry, yeah. some technical yeah. difficulties. Oh, I saw yeah. a lot of questions. I'll come back to your questions, guys. I see yeah. there, but uh, I'll come back to ask a question first. Um, so, uh, 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 what was the question again? <laughs> okay. Replica rims. Uh, yeah. 
would you say that majority of the reason why people buy rapid currents is because of the looks and they want to save money because and they want the looks, right? Is that is that oh. the the or is it performance or is it performance oh, that's, for? That's, that's when you when you talk about this kind of things. Actually, there's many many reasons why is it. But the starting reason is actually because of the cost of import is actually very very high. It, it, uh, it, it doesn't make sense for a lot of workshop like us to to keep up a set of women. Uh, let's say let's take let's take race D thirty seven example. N Hello, can you hear? Can you guys hear? Hear? Can you hear? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so let's say race D thirty seven original me in Japan. Let's say at eighteen inches right now, a set of eighteen inches right now, our cost is almost uh, close to ten thousand. So so. 10, Ten thousand for one set, brand new. That those are really, really four streams, four streams. So, so it doesn't really make sense for a lot of workshop. Those uh, maybe small scale or big scale, even even big scale. This one, also, right? Uh, can you? Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't yeah, really make sense for them to keep a set of these rims and then uh cost more than ten thousand and then in their in their place and then they try to sell it up. So you, you see where it goes. Whereby, whereby if this kind of replicas, like if you if you get it from replicas, they probably cost them thousand to almost two thousand plus for one set. So it makes a lot more sense in terms of business wise. So this is the first reason. The second reason that of course that Malaysian buying power wouldn't be as high because not 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 everyone can cop up like more than ten thousand to buy a set of rims, eighteen inches. So there's many reasons, but also another reason also because of that. Sometimes the replica they 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 they, they want uh they, they want it to be a small sizes. Uh maybe like, let's say take was was signer for example. Was signer mm -hmm. yep, yep. inches. Was signer or minimum original product is eighteen inches. But let's say if I'm a Myvi, I want to use uh, sixteen inches. I want that design. <laughs> but but was signer don't don't produce it. So so it's a it's a good chance for those replica to 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 make similar design and then they package it and then they put in stickers everything to to cater to this crowd mm. hey, you're right right i i remember now my 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 m235 i had a vff uh, 107 yeah. i believe oh, no, 108 yeah. 108 uh. 108 yeah. 11, inches yeah yeah and then the only size they have uh no this is the 18 inches but this, i also had the 19 inches also yeah. and then uh 19 inches i went for 107 and mm. then uh I, I, Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah let, me, let me show a picture to, to everybody. Yeah, I, I, this one, the only, the smallest was 17 inches, 20 inches, right? No, the so smallest is 19 inches for this ring. 19 inches, yeah. So I, yeah. I fit that in my, my M235i. It looked fantastic, but yeah. I wanted to get 18, but I couldn't get 18. So I had to, yeah. to change to, to yeah. 108 one for, one for one that. One. Yeah. But, but I started seeing online, there were like 17, 16 no. uh, for, for, for some of these as well. No. Yeah. I, when you see 17 or 16 inches for this, it's probably going to be a replica. Confirm replica. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go back to the questions a bit over there. Thanks for, for answering and, and, and uh, clarifying what is replica. Let's see over here uh, some of the questions over here. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, Nano Pram Pambutu. He says, uh, my stock rim 17, 7J, 9 kilo each. I bought a rim that is... Uh, oh, you bought a more... Hip oh, okay. Well, hmm. well uh, 11 17 uh 7j 9j 11 kilo each what car is it yeah the question is what car would okay uh before you answer the car would it would it uh show a lot of difference in the uh, performance and handling for well, increasing uh 10 two more kilos well, well, well you have to be i mean when you look at it the 17 inches 7 inches uh, 9 kilo and then 11 kilo uh, is very very normal compared i mean for for a normal car because let's let's if you imagine that your car is a bmw the 17 inches rim original it, the the rim stock rim itself is maybe 11 or 12 kilo per piece so 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 you know what i'm saying so that's the that's the case so the the weight not much uh it won't affect so much but of course that uh, also depends what car you're driving and then the 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 nine inches with rims means that you have to put in a very very wide tires maybe 245 or 255 are uh, those going to affect your performance because uh the wider yeah, it more is grip. Yeah. More grip, but of course also more rolling resistant and then mm -hmm. and then it really depends on what car you're driving man if you're driving let's say you're 17 times 7 and then 9j and then you're driving uh let's say you're going to put on a uh, private uh the private front wheel drive they're not designed for rear wheel so you have a 9 i mean 9j rim on the behind it's, it's gonna too big. 
<laughs> it's going to cause a lot of uh, dragging. Unless, you, let's say your car is a rear wheel drive car, it makes more. So sense. it might even slow the car down because there's a lot of rolling yeah, resistance. Yeah, it will. But I mean, of course, nine J. I know what's the reason, uh, because the nine J rims so wide, and then yeah. the <laughs> nine, the, the lips or cave rims. So so it looks very very in, look very very sexy. So. Mm. But but maybe you don't drive so sexy like Hey, the rims yeah. you sold me the the classic uh, bottle cap rims from my E thirty. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Running one one uh, I think one seven five only. Man, fantastic man, my. Hey, hey even like don't hey, don't look at small tight thin tires, man. But that car I can really really push the car really hard. Uh, I, when I fit in the Michelin's and that rim, and uh, versus the previous tires, I I felt so much more comfortable. Of course, I also uh repair the suspension now, but. But that, but that, but that, uh, you know, doesn't mean bigger rims always mean better, right? You know, yeah. It really depends on the car you're driving again, and then yeah. also. Well, my car is less than hundred horsepower, la, so it should be okay, la. Yeah, <laughs> but it also depends on what you want, man. Because some 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 people just want the car to look very, very, you know, very, very nice, very, very big rims, and then they don't care really about. Mm, yeah, so, let's so, take a yeah. look at another question over here. How safe are these replica rims? Uh, uh, and then uh, the question is, uh, William E is asking, would you recommend them? Um, I, we'll, we'll have this section after the break. We're going to talk about uh, what is the realistic expectation for replica rims okay. and, uh, and what uh, circumstances would you recommend them? Okay, let's take a look at more question. I right. think uh, Bobby asked a very good question here, something that I thought about before. Uh, if I don't go track or, or do toge driving, is replica rims perfectly safe? This one, again, we'll talk after the break. Uh, yeah, sure. what is the application and what's the limitation for rabbit car rims, okay? Okay, any more questions, please ask on the chat. We'll, we'll try to answer them as well, uh, so on and so forth, okay? But um, I just want to ask a quick question uh, as we go through rabbit car rims. Uh, okay, Nadu, Nano, okay, come back here. Nano from Dubu are saying he's driving oh, a yeah, cool. 2014 BRZ. So okay. so would you recommend... Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, well, I mean, the then if BRZ, then 9 and 11, 11 kilo will probably a bit uh, heavy. But still, it's not really significant. To me, I think that uh, but the 11 kilo is quite... Because because right, right now, I know that a lot of flow foam rim right now only weigh around 7 kilo plus per piece. So even though for the 9J, maybe 7 or 8 kilo. So so 11 kilo, a bit, a bit more heavy. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, so that's all. Uh, yeah. Okay. But is it is it a replica rims? Is it a replica rims? But I mean, when I look at it, the weight probably it is, but I'm not so. But I'm not so sure. So it's, it's probably not a uh, not a uh, forge, uh. Yeah, not not a uh, flow forge. Uh, probably not a flow forge. Probably not a flow forge rims. Uh. And then uh, mm -hmm. it's very hard for us to find a nine J uh, five times one hundred. Uh, so the PCD the BRZ is exactly same as the GT eighty six. So they are using PCD five times one hundred. So it's quite quite rare to find a staggered seventeen inches for the. Mm. You know what? Why don't why don't we we put the agenda aside? And since so many people ask about safety, yeah. why don't we just jump straight to it, lah? Yeah, <laughs> if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. No problem. We can yeah. we can go No problem. So so, so okay. William is okay. asking is uh how safe is uh, this replica rims? And and I, I you told me some stories of what happened to some replica rims before. Uh, well, what is your opinion on this? Well, well I. Oh. Okay, well, after after many years of doing this, so I have seen the best and then I seen the worst as well. So so, but generally speaking, generally speaking, you say that whether it's safe, I I think it's still very very safe because as technology progress and then of course China's or uh, some other country maybe Thailand, Thailand also produce uh replica rims as well. Same goes as Malaysia or Philippines or Indonesia, they they do produce a lot of rims. Uh, some of them actually copy some other design, so they do produce replica rims, but. Uh, generally speaking, uh, it's still very, very safe. Uh, still quite good quality rims, but uh, really depends on uh, how you're going to take care. At the end of the day, it really depends how you take care. So, but uh, let's talk about the bad example, for, for instance. So, so uh, uh, last few years, then, uh, of course, I've seen some very, very bad qualities when you see that the rim actually snapped in the middle. But the mean that when I, when I talk about snap in the middle, means that the spokes are, all the spokes actually crack. It, at the spoke and then you can see that really the rim actually came out from the from I mean, wow. the hub and then the, the whole barrel came up came out from that this is really really bad example very very bad qualities so but but um that's only only yeah that's only yeah, uh, something like yeah, something like this yeah yeah it's quite quite oh quite, my god yeah, something like this yeah yeah cool. so okay. so you, you, you know how all this happened you, the, the reason all this happened it's actually because that sometimes when the car maybe maybe it's been modified 
and then having a very very high torque sometimes you know don't, don't know what kind of cars they, they do something so they, they want a rims and then especially that they, they install a big calipers and then they find want to find some rims and then they put on it and then make sure the calipers clear and then they find some replica rims and then when the car uh, when you know as, as as car progress all the torques is getting higher so when you turn the time the, the rims unable to catch up your activities it's it's net in the middle but of course it's not that one time maybe a, maybe a couple of times couple of times and then the the you can see the the the, the spokes the, there's crack on the spokes uh, this is where it happens this is why usually when i i uh, i think i think i did i did talk about last time and then if the rims crack at the spoke please please discard it don't even bother to repair it because it's you, you're gonna the one one spoke is gonna lead to another spoke crack it's gonna lead to this kind of scenario so if the spoke crack throw it away if the, if the rims so collapse then the tire yeah. has no more traction right uh basically you're driving, you're you're driving you're okay, the okay, okay very hard and then the rims so crack and collapse and, cr and snap that means the the tire is gone yeah yeah there's no more the tire does not give any more traction yeah that yeah. basically you, 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 yeah yeah but and and then you you weren't able to control the car that's uh, that's yeah. really really so, bad that's really really bad scenario but but truth to be told but truth to be told i uh, uh many years after, after the recent years they were talking about four or five years I, I seldom see this kind of thing happen anymore so it means that right now of course technology also advanced so, so even right though now, the they're actually, are yeah, getting so better because right now understand that they are really seriously getting better but uh, it's, it's not that I'm going to endorse this brand. I mean, endorse replica rims. But I'm just trying to tell you that um, if, if you're going to buy a set of rims, just understand what you buy. The, 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 when you understand what you buy, uh, you, you, you can set, you can have a certain expectation towards the, the, the product. So, yeah. So, so, so the question comes back to something that what Bobby is asking. If I don't do yeah. track yes. or so gay driving, yes. is replica, yes. replica rims okay to drive around so, with? Yeah, uh, uh, to me, I would really, really uh, talk to my customers before they buy a certain set of rims. So if if the, the when you buy the set of rims and you, you have the intention to go to tracks, and then especially uh, when you have the car 400 to 500 plus HP, and then the torque is very high, maybe 500 plus or 600 plus torque. So you probably need four rims. You you really, really need four rims because when the you need the rims Not to, to catch up your... Cars also cannot. Huh? Not cars, I, don't, I don't think so. No, that, that's a, that's a, that's I, a, I remember that's a, I remember when I was buying my yeah. my rims with you for my M two three five I, my stock yeah, rims yeah. were cast. The eighteen inch was cast, right? Cast, yes. Yeah, yeah yes, and then yeah, and then you told me that uh, if I I tend to drive a lot of spirited driving, a lot of uh, yes. a lot of uh, fast driving up toge, you you told yes, me correct. you recommend me to go for flow forge minimum. Yeah. Yeah, flow forge minimum flow forge. Yes, correct. Because like even I told, the, ori uh, I even the that, original yeah, BMW rims, even it's cast, it will not do the. It will. Yes. It doesn't have the. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, well, people usually usually people. I mean, of course, uh, it doesn't mean that they, you can't. But it's just that um, if you want to go for this kind of thing, and then you 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 have the intention, you really want to go fast, then probably those rims will be better for you. Uh, that's the reason why let's say the M M cars like the M two M three M four M five. Those rims are all original for stream. So not even flow standard, for standard, standard for. issue. They are for stream. They are the, the M series, the, the for I understand the M2, M3, M4, the correct the and all for streams. Standard no issue cast, for stream. Huh. No cast. Ah. And then, then the, the spider you have, the also ah. I think it's also for stream. Also for stream, yeah, it's for stream. Yeah. That's why yeah. so, so, also for stream. Yeah, that's all for stream. So that, that so when you have a high power car. The, even the original uh, issue also give you a force stream. So I got a question though. Let's say yeah. I have a cast. Yeah. Let's say I, I have my M two three five. I have a cast cast uh, rims. Yeah. Uh, I probably some of the audience who might relate to this. I have a cast rim, and then mm -hmm. now I think that oh wait, my car is three hundred horsepower, or maybe I tune my car to 300, 350. Maybe yeah. it's a Subaru WRX or STI or something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and then like wait, I, I have three hundred horsepower. Should I can can I uh, should I stay with my stock cast rims or should I go for replica uh, uh, flow forge rims? Or would you recommend me to go back to my well, cast? Well, if, well, well, if you, if you, uh, of course, if you, if you seek for performance, uh, forge rim is not only that uh, it's, it's pretty strong, but it's also very lightweight. So we're talking about flow forge on forge, they are also very lightweight. So sometimes if you want to increase your performance, don't probably go for so that. A lot of replica rims are flow forge, the, right? the, the reason... 
Yeah, right now, oh, right now, also got replica rims. Uh, not to say replica, not not to say replica. I, I wouldn't say replica because this, this is where where my definition of replica rims come from. So, uh, you can have a lot of China made rims, but they are also original. The reason why is that if a certain brand manufacturer, uh, the certain original brand, let's say let's talk about Enkai, Enkai for example, okay, yeah. Enkai example also got Enkai racing, Enkai tuning. So Enkai, Enkai, uh, I, I try to try to. Uh, so the Enkai racings are made in Japan. Enkai tunings are either made in Malaysia, made in China, made in Taiwan. So there are many factories that produce this uh, series model series Enkai. So uh, Enkai right, tuning and Enkai racing. So uh, en yeah yeah. So Enkai tuning is also under Enkai, and then they are still original brand. It, it still belongs to the original brand. Uh, they are even though they are made in China, they're made in Taiwan. They are not replica rims. They are original rims. They are original product. Means that if anything happened to the rims, we still can claim with the the Enkai, because mm. the, the the thing is belong to them. So same goes that right right now. This is where where the definition come from. So so uh, a lot of brand, uh, let's say U.S. brand, they 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 uh they go China and then they produce the brand and then are under them their their brand. It's still original product, but they are made in China. And then so still still flow forge. There's still flow forge. Yeah, there are flow, yeah, some some so it depends on some 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 people manufacture it, the certain design in car rims. Some manufacture in the flow form rims. But right now I'm saying that right now a lot of flow forge rims, flow form rims, uh, uh, a lot a lot a lot a lot of brand actually producing flow forge rims right now because the the cost is getting lower, and then the the market demands. Uh, market demands is growing right now. Increasing so right now we are actually uh, increasing, right? And then uh, the awareness about flow form rims and forge rims are actually getting getting more and more. So right now Malaysian also prefer some rims which is uh, lightweight, flow form, and also very strong. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, but again, what you just asked is some uh, there's replica rims actually replica there are replica rims actually make it a certain design and then they make it flow form as well. Flow so would it better yeah, would, it, would it, you recommend someone uh, let's say like me i'm super budget and i'm like okay yeah, should yeah, i go for yeah. a, a replica flow forge rims right or stick with my cast rims if i'm have a performance car well um it's a tough question tough. <laughs> i know it's a very, very tough this question is, so this is mm, something uh, i think a lot of people can relate yeah. to you know like uh, yeah 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 so, so my car is original cast rims uh but i want uh a, a, a lighter rims and a flow for stream but it's replica rim so you might want to you you can cons to me i would i would definitely make this transition i will i will go for the flow for replica rim but understand my, my there is a, a me but yeah. understand there is a yeah. limitation to it lah, that uh, you're not buying an original yeah. rims and then uh yeah. you have just, to just really understand what you're pay attention to it lah, and they see you as a crack yeah Okay, so what I've learned again from, from Jeff since I met him is like always there's a crack. Don't don't even bother to entertain, just just change the rim. Yes. Yeah. Especially yeah, in the be. in the inner barrel area and also in the in the in the, in the, uh, in the spokes. spokes. The spokes. Especially the spokes, yeah. The the, the spokes. Okay. Yeah, the especially the spoke. The, the spoke actually yeah. is the most vulnerable. If if the spoke crack, then just just, just throw it yeah. away. Yeah. And it's it's not it's it's not it's not yeah. worth doing this. And then for me, for me when when I already advise all my all my all my uh, all my stuff. If you see any crack in the spoke, just 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 tell them to change. We don't don't yeah. even bother. Don't even tell them. Don't even advise the the the, the customers to repair it because repair, yeah, it's not uh, worth it. It's, it's, life, not uh. working, it's not worth yeah. it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Man. Yeah, it's not worth yeah. it. Yeah, and I, I think one of the reasons why I love washing my cars when I wash my own cars is that you get to inspect your car as you're washing it. You're inspecting your car. So so uh, if any there's any new dings, new cracks, everything. So you're watching your car as you're washing it. You know. So that's that's one of the reasons uh, and i think uh I, I i really want to stress this because my father always says like you know like you know you young people nowadays you know you don't take care of your cars and i thought i did i sent him the workshop everything but i said back in the days um, older people they they actually change their own oil they open up the engine they check the tires everything it's actually up to the responsibility of the owner to take care of these kind of things you know so so uh, uh i think that watching for cracks is the minimum uh, safety safety things lah uh, mm. So I hope uh, I answered your question uh, or, or Jeff answered your question uh, uh, for William, uh, for Bobby. I hope if we, if we did answer your question, please give me some love or some like. Give Jeff some yeah. love and like. Yeah. If you, yep. if you okay. don't understand what, what we explained, then you just can ask more. Then the more you ask, then I, I, I can explain more. Because yeah. uh, when you tell me to uh, I try to do this kind of video, 
I try to explain in my video as well, my YouTube channel. But the, the, the more I try to do this, I, 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 I somehow I don't know how to explain. But when you it's ask okay. questions, it's, it's, then I will know how to explain to you. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, uh, Paulus Romanov has a has a interesting point of view. He said, rather than a replica, better get original yeah. brands but value nice. money like Koenig, Avanti, Elenso. So, how yeah. about this? Uh, for yeah. the audience viewing this, then, uh, uh, let's say what what are the what what are the few top two three brands you feel are really good value for money? Flow Forge, yeah. Flow Forge Games. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so so of course for, for if you talk about a lot of flow for streams right now, Avanti has wonderful series of uh, flow for streams. The 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 when I say that, and then they cover a lot a, a big range. So it means that actually they have rims from flow for uh, the, they, they call it a DST. Uh, DST rim is to them is a flow for streams. So they cover from fifteen inches to uh, up to twenty inches now. So to me that they are actually producing uh, very, very good quality ribs. And then the 15 inches may be less than five kilo points. So on top of my mind right now, the the, the, the Avanti is actually not too bad. Because Avanti, yeah, okay. Lenso as well. Lenso, I've been Lenso? selling Lenso for more, uh, uh, Avanti. I, I'm, I'm selling Lenso for more than uh, 15 years right now. Uh, of course, they, they, they produce more car streams uh, than flow for stream. Uh, but, Overall, they are still very, very good quality in terms of craftsmanship, and then the uh, yeah the, the, the thing, and then the the Lenso rims are all made in Thailand. Avanti oh. rims, there are some made in Taiwan and made in China. So, 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 so th that's this is where we come from the the definition of uh, replica rims, right? Because right now, uh, there's a lot of mixed understanding in the market because you can't blame them because for the last ten years, um, a lot of China replica rims. So people say made in China. Uh, maybe already uh, associated with a very very bad quality products but whereby uh, Avanti rims right now really produce very very good qualities uh, flow for rims and then they are, even though they are made in China but their pricing is very 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 reasonable and then and, and then actually I did check their, their pricing uh, 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 other country was selling Avanti and then uh, compared to us actually we are we are selling a very very reasonable price it's un under market Compared to so Avanti outside, is compared a, to definitely country. a brand to look out for, right? Yes. If you if yeah. you want if you want good quality rims and then not spend, don't want to hurt your hurt your uh wallet, what? then <laughs> Avanti rims is definitely something. Good. I mean, talking about fifteen inches, maybe around thousand plus. Sixteen inches, less than oh. two thousand. Flow Forge, oh, okay. quite reasonable. Yeah, Flow Forge, Flow Forge, Flow Forge. Flo Forge. Wow, Flow Forge. Wow, ah, wow. yes, correct. No, no. Uh, and so selling similar price, but they actually a lot of them are the cost rims. Good question. Okay, I'll ask you one last question yeah. before I go back to the questions mm -hmm. in the audience. Yeah. What what yeah. is your favorite uh flow forge uh, rings from let's say because you like Avanti, Avanti you say is doing really well. What yeah, was your what, what is your favorite uh you think about Avanti? Oh uh Avanti definitely Storm S1. Storm S1. Storm right? S1. Let's just show the audience. Storm S1. Yeah, you can show the Storm S1, yeah. Oh, it looks really nice. Yeah. Looks really yeah, handsome. Um, 18 inch. Actually, actually, if you look at it, if you look at it, it's actually similar to the GR Yaris. You, know, you guys, you know the GR yeah, 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 it does, it does. <laughs> it the, does the, it's, it, it's very similar. And, and, and another thing is about the GR Yaris rims are they are BBS four frames are huh? original. This oh. this design BBS four frames. I saw I saw it in close up close. Oh, yeah, see similar, but of course not hundred percent. Huh? I'm not 100 percent about it. As a feel, uh, same feel, uh. Yes, that's a definitely yeah, that's a feel. Yeah, the GI are receiving the similar design. Yeah. Wow, you can get a flow forge for under four uh, 18 range, right? Under 4K, right? Or you can get uh, wow. Uh yeah, yeah. Actually 3000 plus, yeah. 3000 plus, yeah. Wow. <laughs> at Vos Steiner, you're looking at what like like 12,000, <laughs> 8,000, something like that. <laughs> uh, 18 is just it, 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 18 that's just 8,000. But but you know like, Vos Steiner has this has this look like. <laughs> Yeah. yeah it's a yeah it's a it's a different brand it's a different it's a different brand of course their, their yeah. market position is different mm. Let, let's just look at some of the yeah. questions over so, here and yeah. then we go for a break mm -hmm. yeah thanks for asking your question if, if you yeah. think that this is valuable just give us some like uh special like button and give us some love or some emoticons right so if you think that this is it so uh we covered about uh uh, Jeff's favorite um, um, uh, recommended value for money flow for streams mm -hmm. original uh, Lenso Avanti okay so you can check those out uh, do, you, do you have and, and of course uh, I think King of Rims you have a lot of that over there as well right in, uh, in the shop yeah yeah, yeah we, have, okay. we have a lot we have 15, 16, 17, 18 whatever you want man. yeah okay cool Um. so I, there's a really interesting question over here I'm gonna there's a lot of questions over here I'm gonna pick out 
that's good. That's good. Uh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Let's pick up one over here. Okay. Uh, Forge for Speed. Okay. If replica rims are uh, get bent yeah. slightly, is it worth being repaired? What's your What's your okay. question? Uh, your answer. To okay, this. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, I can answer. The the bent rims are uh, if just a minor bend. Uh, it's actually it's repairable because when you bend the rims, uh, it doesn't really destroy the, the in, uh, structural integrity compared to cracked rims. So even though it's just deformed, but we have machine to press it to round back. So if if it's just very very minor, then repair it, no problem. You can you can drive it like normal. Uh, it won't it won't dent easily again unless you really hit some portal again. It's just that the if cracked, then the interior interior integrity is damage then you you don't want this kind of thing happen and then uh but also uh i, I found it is very very funny is that uh, people people uh, definition of pan rim and us pan rim is different because some some when you look at it the rim is really wobbling like 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 how is is the whole thing when you put all this actually well people say oh this is very very minor dent so so when you look at it well this is serious then it's not minor then so, so, so how would you know the, 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 the definition of the the bad it is, say I don't have the machine like you, you know, you spin the, the what tires, you can see whether it's bent or not. But let's say yeah, if I'm, yeah. a, I'm driving my car, well, well, how do I know well, my tire uh, is bent? How would you know okay, if my tire is bent? The very symptoms, the normal symptom is the, the, the symptom is that if you if you drive a car and then you feel vibration at the steering or, or the car wipe, wobble a bit, uh, then there's a this is one of the symptoms that the ribs are bent. But it's, there's many reasons behind uh, behind this, but the rims then might be one of them. Mm, okay. Mm. Okay. So, so actually, one. it's very, very, it's very, very, very simple to when you drive the car. Suddenly, you feel that the steering bubble, well, you just feel that the if you let go of the steering, you can see the steering actually bubble a bit. It, especially you travel around maybe uh, 90, 100, 110 km per hour. That's good. Uh, this is where the wobble, wobbling happens. Does it anyway, matter if the car is uh, is uh, electronic steering, hydraulic steering, non power no, no, steering? It's, it's still wobble. Yeah, it's still it's, it's still wobble. wobble. It's still it's still wobble. Yeah, especially now BMW, Mercedes, even though they have uh, electric steering, uh, when the rims are not balancing nicely, it's very very obvious. Damn obvious to them. Mm, okay, great. That's a good question. Okay, let's. Uh, I hope they answer your question. Uh, our first for speed. If you do, just give us some like or love yeah. or something like that. Okay. Uh, let's uh, answer two three more questions and we go for a quick break. Okay um yeah guys if you feel that this session is helpful please ask more questions uh, uh me and jeff will put all agenda aside to answer your questions yeah. Right? yeah okay patrick is asking uh original lightweight freeform rims like conic are very reasonably priced these days uh what are the replica rims that still popular oh, yeah. uh, what yeah, else are sure. popular yeah okay so uh yeah look sorry look at the question because there's something happened okay original uh, lightweight freeform rims like conic are very reasonably priced these days are the replica rims that uh, are, uh, are the replica yeah. rims still that popular in Kony? Yes, of, of course. Uh, of course, uh, replica rims still very, very popular. Like, like just how I did explain to a, a lot of people. Just explain another reason why replica rims a lot is actually uh, it makes sense for a lot of uh, workshop to keep them uh, because the cost mm. is very low. The whole stock so, uh, is is mm. co cost is very low for them. So I mean, let's say let's say talk about original Kony rims. Yeah, even though it's cheap relatively cheap but still cost a lot compared to the replica rims so uh yeah uh mm. i'm talking okay let's say let's say and um the the conic probably 18 inches sell for almost 3000 plus so but you can get replica maybe half the price maybe 2000 one eight one seven yeah mm, okay got it got it uh, uh, okay uh, thanks mm. okay uh yeah. i got another question over here uh derek is asking is it always beneficial to have a lighter rims? Is there down, is there a downside to lighter rims? Okay, so so uh, to me definitely lighter is better, no matter how how you want to say it. Because some some people misconception is that uh the if my rim is heavy, it means my car is very stable. Okay, <laughs> but the problem is that car stability got almost nothing to do with the the rims, the the weight of the rims. Your car stability have a lot to do with your suspension, and then your tires that you use. So, so, but when you're able to reduce the, the weight of the, the car, the rims, because the means that the, the rolling is lesser, less burden, your car is better because it's going to do a lot of things, good things for your absorbers and then your mm -hmm. charge, your fuel consumption. To me, I think it's more pro than cons. So, but, but I, after talking to a lot of clients, 
uh, some people say, oh, I want heavy rims. I do want or the car doesn't drive very, uh, doesn't drive normal. Uh, Nothing new to rims. They usually damper issues, <laughs> suspension. Yeah, it's actually a lot to things your suspension. So. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thanks for clarifying that. If we, if uh, Derek, if we, if we answer your question, please let us know that we did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, one more last question before we go on break. Okay. Uh, Zach Yutan, does uh does forge or full forge rims has expiry date? Do they age over time? I think I think a couple of people were asking this question as well. Like uh uh, I can't read this Chinese word. Sorry. <laughs> does rim age over time? I'm using an old Upvan RG rim, really old but good condition. Does it weaken over time? So how how, how do you answer this question about like uh, the the the, the, uh, the rims uh, are basically alloy rims. Alloy rims uh, means that they don't they don't really rust. They don't really rust a lot. So means when the rims does not rust, it actually can last you for a long time. Uh, right now, if right, right now even though those uh, you remember the the BMW the E the Alpina rims, mm -hmm. Alpina rims that yeah. yep. Those are alloys, right? Yeah, those alloy rims. You you. How long does uh what's the age of the rims? Maybe 30 plus oh, years, plus 30, years 35. <laughs> then how much they are selling? How much they are still selling the oh, rims? 5k, 8k, oh, 9k, no, you know, like, 12k. I think it's level of 12k. I can't remember. You show me, you yeah, show yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's an original 17 inch alpine rims uh, uh going for 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 12,000 ringgit. More than 10, yeah, more than that. 30 years old, yeah, yeah. But how, the thirty years old rims, eh? thirty years old rims, eh? and then yeah. they still. Eh? So means that the the rims really, if you if really really good condition, means that there's no dent or crack. Uh, yes, basically it will last you forever. But does it does it age over time? There is there a rule that if even if I buy the rim and and I have to change every ten years, there's no rules of such. Right? Not not really. To me, I I don't think so because we have we haven't seen that old rims yet. But problem is that of course after many years, the the color does fade. Uh, no matter how, I mean, if you really keep it in the cold in cold rooms or you never use it, never seen sunlight, then probably you, the color will, will last you very long. But uh, if the color faded, you can, we always can spray it. But basically, the, the structure itself doesn't, doesn't, I mean, talking about 30 years or 40 years, it's still, still the, basically the same thing. Man. It's so still as long as there's no dent, there's no crack, crack yeah. still, you can still use it. Like the, the, the bottle cap E30 rims, it's still working. Yeah. Yeah. Like normal, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So so rims doesn't age. So that's that's a good thing to know. Uh, uh, but I can refurbish it lah. So like my my mini, for example, my mini rims, uh, they are scratched everywhere. It can be refurbished lah. Okay, good. That one that one probably need to be done soon. I want it to look very nice. So <laughs> we send to you to refurbish the rims. Okay, okay. So uh, we answered a lot of questions. Uh, we have almost hundred people joining us. Thanks for watching us tonight. We'll go for a quick break and then we come back. We're gonna answer more questions. But after break, I'm going to ask uh, Jeff, if you don't mind, to share with us uh, uh, how to identify. Uh, uh, we talk, we, we, to, Before the break, we already covered all about uh, what is replica rims, what is the application of replica rims, what yeah. is the limitations of it. Uh, after the break, we're going to come back and answer more questions. I think I, I think we enjoy answering more questions than actually following a topic. The last yeah. session. Yeah. Yeah, so please ask your questions about but after the after the break we're gonna come and talk about like how to identify how do I know I'm actually really buying original rims or am I being scammed, right? So that's a good one. We'll talk about this after the break, okay? So let's go for a quick break, we'll come back, we'll talk about that. All right. Save about thousand plus. To work out teachers can be three, four thousand. Two one five, even more. It's for two hundred plus. Four hundred bucks of savings. Hey guys, welcome back. And that's Evo Club Insurance, guys. So, uh, you know, MCO is coming up. I know it sucks. 
we all car lovers we can't drive as much as we want to but hey if you're not driving your car you want to save money on your in your insurance premium check out your club insurance uh you get to save the 40 percent of your insurance so you can you can actually stagger your insurance payment you can buy insurance and save up the 40 percent by saying okay look i'm going to drive 5000 km you only pay uh up to 60 percent of your insurance and then you only got 5000 km uh, on your insurance so when you surpass 5000 km you just top up a bit more and just keep going to a different my uh mileage but let's say so happen to drive below 5000 km you don't have to pay the full insurance you can just pay 60 percent of it only so check out check that out uh especially if you, are, you have two three cars like me definitely something to look out for right evo cup insurance check it out okay so we're back right now with uh jeff liao i uh, hope you guys are enjoying this show tonight please ask all your questions uh jeff's a good friend of mine and uh he's been what i like about him is he's always honest and he's always very um he he tries to to really understand the customer's needs and try to match it and that's why we became good friends uh throughout all this time and i've purchased tires and rims for him for the last i don't know five years i think mm. yeah. yeah so all my cars i always go to jeff okay always go to jeff yeah. so before we continue i want to ask a quick polling over here guys um little, we will come back later on uh but i want you to ask your, uh, i want you to give your answers right now and then we will go through all of them some of them what are your favorite rims what are your favorite aftermarket rims send them on the chat on the chat there and then me and jeff are going to go through them all right but for now let's go go back to some of the questions that you guys have uh there's one question asked over here um uh not over here okay dinesh is asking how do i prevent myself from being scammed accidentally buying replica rims for as originals or or buying originals but it's actually imitation so this is a question that uh that uh, uh because I, I i came to your shop and then i asked you hey is this original and then you, you showed me it was and you taught me how to look for fake rims so i thought this is very good information uh to share the audience and of course i look at your establishment i say why wow, this guy got the cheap people like so you're so yeah. busy you know no, no time to cheap people you just, you just uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah i was i would say that it's a bit a bit tough for us to go for if you want to shit it's not it's not a long-term things but the the issue is that uh it's, it's too much hassle to deal with if i sell a set of original i mean i sell replica rims uh, and then i try to sell this original the the money is because the i noticed money that i noticed what you do is that when you when you when you have a replica rims, you tell them look it's a replica you just tell them directly yeah it's a replica, yeah, it's a replica. Right? You, should, you should know what you buy you, you really yeah. should know what you buy so yeah. so uh, I, I think like uh i just want to shout out here because i i, I don't know many tire shops but i know at least with jeff he will tell me up front this is replica this is not replica he will tell me up front there's no yeah. no no hanky banky you know no, so no. How, how do i know if it's a if it's a original original or is a replica trying to be original or if it's a, a imitation trying to be original you know okay uh of course uh i understand that this is actually one of the famous questions that i was asked as well but the this for many brands, uh, you, you really can't tell a lot difference. Uh, many brands has a different way of identifying themselves. Let's take uh, Enkai for example, Enkai, mm -hmm. Enkai or Avanti for example. So can, can we use uh, Ray? Ray uh, G, you can use Ray's for example because uh, two of our viewers say their favorite rims are Ray's. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Ray's three twenty five is uh, uh, basically very simple to identify. Uh, the Ray's three twenty five is four streams. Three twenty five is four streams. So, so let's, let's say the three twenty five you get yourself nineteen inches. Ah, uh, the the night. Uh, this is replica. Yeah, this the this, oh, this replica. This replica. <laughs> you because, can see how uh, you know it's you, replica. You I mean, of course, you can see the wording. The Ray's logo is not there. I mean, at the spoke. I mean, the 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 circumference of it. There's a race and then in Japan, usually they are actually written on on the on the side of it. Ah, uh, this one is original. You can see. Uh, wait, wait. Mm. I can't really tell this. Uh, yeah, this is original. So I can't so, tell the difference, bro. Yeah, you. you, you <laughs> I mean, that's why that's the problem is that it's very very hard for you to tell the different. But the the the, the good thing about uh G twenty five rays um is that there's a made in Japan chop on the surface of the the rims at the at the at the circumference of it. So replica at the does, circumference of it. There's a circumference circumference uh, that you can see the 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 the, the, the where oh, wow, the waff wow. is. The the ah. waff is usually I'm not, I'm not so sure whether this is original or not, but the cutting really does make a lot of difference. Uh, so the the, the waff there, there's a it, along along that the circumference that's a made in Japan, and then the race engraving on the surface of the ribs, and then the replica doesn't have it. Replica doesn't oh, have it. But okay. But, 
but the this uh this this issue about when ch- talk about uh, China right because they actually they are actually very very concerned themselves with the replica issue as well. That's why they don't right now a lot of manufacturers don't dare to put in any engraving because the, the once they, the the factory is caught, the the factory have to stop production for at least a year. It's a huge loss for them. So they don't now right now now a lot of brand doesn't want to take the risk. They don't. They don't. Dare. That's why. That's why. That's why. Right now, uh, last time talking about, uh, let's say, two or three years ago, there's a lot of fake AMGs, AMGs uh, from Mercedes, and then they really engraved the wording AMG on the oh the AMG rims, the AMG Mercedes rims. They the uh then they do the engraving of the AMG wording on the rims. Uh, this is this is really really bad. A lot of factory corner. So once they're gonna, uh, there's a few million dollars uh, compensation, and then they that's the factory of the stop production. So that's why right, right now after that case, uh, basically all the replicas went down. Means that they don't dare to put in a lot of uh, the the wording. They have to be very very careful. This is why right now all the all the replica AMG right now they are only stickers. They only can put stickers. They don't dare to engrave the AMG wording on it. So that's why uh, oh. for them to. Uh, for the, so right now a lot of rims, uh, nineteen inches. I mean the the G twenty five. They don't dare to engrave the the race R A R A Y S. They don't dare, they don't dare to engrave because the one is actually trademarked. So, so how else would I how else would I know to verify its origin? So what you're saying is that uh, there is a distinguish small difference with the original and the yes one. Right? And then and then when time uh there's uh, uh remind me to tell you the difference about the original and the fake one. So uh basically uh. The original, when you uh, because original race twenty five is four streams, so nineteen inches cost a uh, weight less than maybe nine kilo eight kilo plus, so it's very mm. very lightweight. Whereby the replica, the only reason why they, they the replica works is because I and mean, then they have to produce in cars. Because they produce oh. in quantity and then they are very cheap. Because once they do cars, they have, uh, the last time I really explained that the car streams are very uh, small, cheaper to produce compared to the four streams. So, so the race the G twenty five uh is cast when they produce the replica. Most of them are, uh, the the they are cast rims. So they are yeah. It's when you take out take it out, it's gonna be very very heavy. So that's so the, the weight, weight is a good indicator lah. Okay. Uh, that's a good, good very very good indicator. But the to me when I look at it the the when I look at it I I almost can sure way tell you whether it's original or not because original rims are, I tell you what, when you look at the original rims are. The, the details is so much more nice it means that the the craftsmanship of it the the, the spokes wise is when you look at it the, even the color itself is significantly so much more higher grade compared to the the replica rims so so when you look at it i almost can tell it's original it's not original but of course that's my that's my business but i mean you you are the expert but so yeah i do this for a long time <laughs> but so how about almost tell common people like us yeah <laughs> yeah, would, yeah, 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 yeah i truly understand yeah 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 so so uh that, that's why I can show away I can tell I can tell straight away that the was what's the difference between was the original was and then the fake was while well, the the no matter how you, how how the replica wants to copy the original, uh the 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 design itself the cutting itself you really cannot follow they really cannot follow hundred percent, uh the the original rims original rims no matter how it is they still got some very significant details on the rims they make it very sexy and make it very very nice so yeah i think i think like, mm-hmm. i remember seeing uh fake was diners before yes yes uh, and it looked good on picture but when in person you see it right yes and you look at it it's like some something is often it's either yes. the color or the sharpness of every the curve yes. there's, there's the something curve, about it. the spoke the the color itself the finishing the original oh. means a lot so so in, in normal people like us, so mm-hmm. the first easiest way is to say okay the weight of the rims. But okay, what if the, okay okay wait wait but this what, is what, not what, really what if uh, what if uh, what if the the uh, the copy is also a uh, yes uh, a flow eh? yes yes you are right. <laughs> so so you really really cannot say a lot of different. So that's why I say that a lot of brands have a different way of uh, indicate whether it's original or not. So let's take uh Enkai or Avanti for example. So mm. uh, when you look at it, when you take out the, the if or the original rims, you take it out at the barrel there. There's there's a there's a serial there's a sticker over there, and then they they put in a lot of ser- the, they put in their own serial number. Mm. Uh, this is for this is only for the Enkai and then Avanti. So so Avant, the Enkai Avanti took this uh, extra step to put in the stickers and then their barcode their serial number. 
so to put onto the rims and then there's a there's an indicator if you remove the sticker the, the warranty is wiped so this oh. is how the uh, uh, this is how the the Enkai and uh, Enkai and Avanti differentiate themselves from fake or original okay mm. uh of course of course you say that fake also they, they have, this is a sticker they can put on it no problem but uh when you want to really claim the things uh when the when the enkai they or the avanti check on the serial number uh, whether able to claim or not it actually depends on the stickers so that's the first scenario but but i told you that there's many brands and then mm. different brand has a different way like was sinus was sinus um there's a there's a barcode on the on the the barrel as well and then you scan the barcode they can they can show base send to a signer and then you can tell you whether they can verify whether it's original or not so this mm. is how a signer verify it so, so for example brand, here lah, yeah. this lah. yeah uh, uh yes 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 this is uh this is I don't know what, uh, this was signer, yes there's a barcode you can scan on it and then you can tell you whether it's original or not so this is uh oh, there you go there's a little there's a, I, I remember yes, buying my when i got my uh yes. wf uh 127 i think 107 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this is how it okay goes. so but but uh but of course that this is uh how to say that uh not so easy because if you're if not don't been told this is not not some some information is you're not information but uh the 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 best way to me right now uh, i think the best way is that if you if you don't know whether this brand is actually belong to that brand uh, snap a photo, send it to go to Facebook, whatever brand. Let's say you go for Enkai Malaysia or Wanti or Lanzo. Use it. They they have face Facebook. They have Facebook. They have they have any. They have Instagram. Snap a photo, send a message to them to verify whether it's original or not. So those rim mm -hmm. those people from uh from Enkai or uh Wanti, they can tell you straight away whether it's original or not. So mm. so so that's the that's to me i think it's a full uh foolproof the best so, la, the best, the best way la. if you don't know just ask people from the, the, the their, their own official page they mm. can tell you straight away original or not so so i'm getting some tips now hope you guys are yeah. taking these tips yeah. the first one is that okay uh very basic way is check the weight right yeah but if, no. even if the weight is uh, is not that heavy right yeah. uh, uh you can you can do some research to find out what are the brands way of protecting themselves so yeah. for example Ankai will have uh, serial numbers and for Steiner yeah. will have their, their barcodes yeah, barcode, yeah. and the third way which is uh, a very easy way is to directly yeah, message take a step, step to the send to the picture to the official page yeah, and let them reply yeah those those Even brands, it will take three days or two days no. better take the safer route than uh, being yeah. sorry later. but 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 trust me uh, right now they're actually quite active uh, like, i'm talking about Avanti or mkai they sure we can tell you whether they, they are very active they can reply you maybe one or two hours time wow wow okay okay yeah. that's worth it okay that's a very good rim yeah. so i hope you guys are enjoying yeah. that tip if you guys uh, feel the tip was useful give us some like and uh, let us know in the comments that those tips is helpful as well yeah yeah, yeah. but okay but yeah, but generally speaking, wait, wait, wait. if you get the you you need to get the information from the seller as well. So the if the seller tell you it's original, then if you have second doubt, then you can do this. But I mean, yeah. So take your yeah. Do do this. I think it's good to do the due diligence. Uh. If you're gonna yeah, spend 10, 15, 000, sometimes twenty thousand on yeah, rims, yeah, yeah, and, oh, and of course you your life depends on it because it's your rims on the you know you you you, you gotta you know you got a powerful car you know let's say you got like a like an M six or like an M four. Oh, okay, then then you want to make sure you get the, the proper ones. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at some of the questions over here. Uh okay, let's see. Okay, so uh, Dinesh, I hope they answer your question. Please let us know in the comments. If you answer a question, give us some like or some love. Okay. Uh let's see over here. Uh is it worth to refurbish used Japan rims or there will be imbalanced weight or repair or stickers? Okay. So is it is it, so basically the question is Sherman is asking. Uh, would there be issues after repairing? Well, uh, just now, just now I'm asking is that whether whether it's uh, uh how to say it, is it repairable? It depends on the rim itself. Like, like we did we did discuss that the rim does not uh degrade after after many years of using. The only uh even though you put that the rims no bend no crack, you you still can refurbish. It's still worth repair. It's still worth refurbishing. No problem. And then there's now there's another question is talking about what sticker is it? What sticker is it? The sound. What's the question uh, about stickers? Yeah, I can't remember. Yep. Uh, let's I, I don't see the yeah. So you're saying, so saying that uh, there you go. So, yeah. Okay, will there be an issue in balance weight from the repair? So, uh, if the rims no dent, uh, by re by refurbishing it, you won't you won't have any issue. 
uh, means that the rims no significant dent wobble. Once you refurbish, it's still going to be the same. And then the sticker is actually very, very tough because that those stickers, when, once you remove it, you, you can't put it back. Those stickers are really, really special stickers. Uh, like oh, yeah. talking about race, uh, the Java stickers, the race, the, the all the spec rims, uh, the original stickers, they are, the, the, the stickers are really special. So if you're going to refurbish him, if you can keep it, then you keep it. But sometimes you can't, you want to make it very nice. Then what you can do is actually you can just take a snap of a photo of the stickers and then their sticker, their special sticker shop actually can produce exactly the same stickers and then you can stick it back after mm. the refurbishment. So this is usually what we do. So, but I mean, basically, if the rims are good and you think that it's very nice, then it's worth worth refurbishing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. No problem. All right. I hope that's helpful. Uh, uh, Sherman, let us know in the comments and give us some love and likes if uh, we actually answer your question. Okay. Uh, let's take a break from questions and let's see. Guys, let us know in the comments below what are your favorite aftermarket rims. Okay. Let's go through some of them and then go back to the questions before ending the show. Okay. Uh, you no, know, bro, it's really an hour, man. An hour of talking. Is it so fast? What hour is yeah, fast? I, really fast. <laughs> I, I think I think last time, last uh, I remember the last section was the same oh, thing. We tried hours, to yeah. cover some topic, but problem is that I, we answer questions more than the we talk about the topic. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's fun. That's fun. All right, Ray, Ray. So, so, so Jeremy and uh, Ruben from uh, Macau uh, does like uh, 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 Ray's. Oh, that's great. Let's see over here. Uh, Vossen, Vossen CV3. Yeah, it's very it's long. Not very famous in Malaysia, right? The five yeah. spoke design, the, the five spoke design, and then very concave. Those, those uh, I remember the times, but the one is like four or five years ago. Uh, I, but during that time was fantastic. Yeah, I, I think this this yes. one on Audis, a lot of the Audis, uh, Audis yes. like and then uh, trust me, not this ring, a lot of replicas as well. Because uh, the reason why replica <laughs> because that they don't produce it in eighteen inches. I think the Vossen producing minimum nineteen. So, oh, so when okay. they produce 19 inches, uh, then those like maybe smaller cars, they want to put 18 inches. So this is where mm. replica come from. So mm, their replica produces 17, uh, 15, 16, even 14 inches. I'm not joking. I've seen 14 inches before. 14 for boss. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. But, but I like, I like the, 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 the concave feel. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it does look this, very nice on some Audis, you know. It yeah, look yeah, nice. yeah. This, but if, yeah. But if the price book and then it's very concave, it looks... It, it looks fantastic for a lot of cars. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's let's see. Uh, anyone else have any rims that you like? What's your favorite aftermarket rims? Uh, let's see over here. L M G T four. What is this? Oh, the L M G T four is the R thirty four original Nismo rims. It's very nice, five spoke design, very lightweight, very forge. It's a forge rim. It's it's oh, very sure, hard huh? to come by right now. Yeah, the L M G T four. Oh, this is actually rare. Yeah, it's oh. the R34, the R34 rims, the Nissan Skyline. Wow. Yeah. How much would this go on the market these days? Oh, wow, man. If you find a good conditions, uh, don't hesitate to pay six thousand, eight thousand for this. It's, it's still worth the it's still worth the price because it's four three man. It's a four three wow. man. Yeah. Full forge. No, yeah, not it's full forge. It's not full forge. It's a full forge rims. Then again, wow. there's a why? Why? Okay. Why does it? So this is the or I think the standard issue for the Nismo R thirty four, why? Because the car is high power car. So when mm. talk about high power car, high torque car, so the 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 even the original manufacturer they do well to give you a really really high quality rims, because they, mm. they know that if you're gonna use this kind of rim, you're gonna do this kind of activities. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so yeah, they they probably figure out what what you need on the car, anyways, lah. Yes, correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see with T seventy thirty seven. What's 37, this? Yeah. Very very. Uh, this this design is more in the market for more than twenty plus years, man. It's still plus selling. Years. Right yeah. Twenty. Oh, 30, okay. 30 it looks years. it looks a bit like the GTR, but then it's six spoke, lah. Yeah, six spoke yeah. design. But this is the classic JDM design. That means that right now, until now, this is we call a what we call a say Titan mount. Means that one of the <laughs> one of the rims that is gonna sell no matter how this is one probably one of the favorite graphic car rims people copy you find i tell you what the, if you're able to find this rim uh 9.5 out of 10 is replica rims i'm saying in the 9.5 right out of 10 is replica rims wow yes <laughs> i told you that these rims uh even 16 inches or 15 inches are going to cost you six thousand i mean six or eight thousand plus for brand new rims man so this is so, the rims i need to pay attention to if it's going to be fake or real uh right. friends speaking if you if you found one set here 9.5 will be replica 
Wow, wow, okay. Nine, okay. nine, more than nine out of ten, and ninety five percent will be replica because right now is uh, yeah. And then trust me or not, right now because this room has been in the market for a long time, you can really, really find a very, very good, almost, um, almost ninety ninety percent similar. Even the colors are down to the colors, from the wow. design colors, you can still find rims which is almost same as the original, almost wow. same. But but the only one thing that they cannot copy is the weight. The mm. original D thirty seven is four rims. The uh the rim is damn lightweight, man. Fifteen inches, maybe four kilo plus. Very very wow, lightweight. four kilo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, but, but it's forty inch lah. Yeah, yeah. For, no, fifteen inches, fifteen inches. Yeah. Oh, 15 inches, okay. All right. I I think it's famous because it's uh uh Malaysia is a is a very GDM driven uh kind yeah, of it's, it's, it's still yeah. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the, a lot, of, a lot. Of, I think that the replica rims, the the JDM, the, they they actually cater to a lot of JDM market. Yeah, they they cater for a lot of Japanese car. BBS I think CHR, uh, BBS CHR is very famous. I think for yeah. especially for Conti cars. Yeah, um, BM Mercedes. Yeah, BM. Yeah, I think I, I, the funny thing is that I'm not a big. Fan, I never. I was never a big fan of this uh, CHR. I, I I don't think it looks pretty, particularly pretty. But Jensen. Yeah. And a few well, guys on the chat feel I, so. I, I tell you what, the CHR design is evergreen design. It, it, it's, it's going to, it's not going to change. Man. It, the, the, uh, the only thing I, pre I predict from BBS is that they're going to take the similar design, they're going to twist the design, they're going to sell for, they're going to come up maybe a new new model of it. But mm. basically, it's still the same design. But mm. this design been in the market for a long time. It won't die. It's going to be evergreen design. All right. Let's take a look over here. Uh, HRE. I think HRE is a brand very interesting. Yes, it's a, it's a flow form series. FF11, very nice. Five spoke design, yeah. one of the latest design. Yeah. Uh, five up, and five this one is uh, at your shop. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This one. This picture is for me. 15,000 ringgit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 22 inch. Uh. Yeah, 22 wow. inch. Who and then they cater. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 right now, right now uh, Q7, Q8, you know, the, the original issue is all 21 inches of damn jeez ah. hr is swiss right is it swiss or is it uh, no, no it's a us brand and then ah. but the 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 flow from plus series this is a flow from rims uh the the hre actually is popular for their four rims but the problem is that their four rims when you come to malaysia we, we need to sell it around 40 plus thousand almost fifty thousand for one set talk mm. about the some so of course that i said that not not many people um in the market one i mean willing to fork up this kind of money but yeah you know, it is but, it is very very is it 40 000 for rims is 40, a lot 40 plus thousand man. yeah 40 plus yeah. for the set of well, but i mean i'm not saying that is is like mm. every time i hear shari i feel like wow it's them atas you know? yes, <laughs> it's very, very, yeah it's very but is i mean the, you find are, replicas on this uh very are, rare right are, yeah there are replicas for this yeah but not but, not that much lah yeah. Not not also, also God I don't say not 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 much but I tell you what I saw the original Fox rims, oh man man look at it, oh, you can you can. What do we show? What do we show? Uh, what is a what is a okay. Fox? Check uh, check uh, P one hundred one, HRE P one hundred one. This is probably one of the nicest rims that I uh, you you told you just now when you you ask me what's my favorite rim this is probably one of them. This design is, I know it's very simple, but yet this, when you look at the, if you look at the real rims, oh, what is so, you look yeah. at, you look at the rims, when you look at it, oh, what is, it's one thing is very lightweight and then the cutting wise is fantastic. The color is very yeah. nice. And then uh, if, you, if you go for the real rims, 10 inches or 11, uh, 9.5 inches, the, the curve is there because the reading that can do a very curved rims because that is four rims. So they can do, very very curved and then it's yet it's still very very strong so for so for those audience who are watching right now uh fort stream is that you take a full block of like the metal the, the, right? the, 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 the aluminum the, the, the barrel and then there's the the and then they, they cut they, they cut the, the piece this, out so it's a it's yeah. a full piece and then they cut it out yeah flow basically is that, yeah flow forge yeah. is uh is uh basically you you have a mold and then they 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 they, they forge it right no, no, the the the, the flow forge is that it's still it's still uh produced with a mold. I mean they, yeah. they mold, but problem is that the material to produce is only this big and then they roll it out. They roll so they roll it out so that it becomes the barrel. So the uh. the process of rolling, it makes the rims uh the the in the molecule inside is actually very aligned. 
and then make it in in in, in dense, it makes it very very lightweight and very very strong. Whereas so, the, the original super hard one is that you take a whole piece of yeah. uh, metal and then you cut all the empty spaces to make the rim. <laughs> yeah, make the rims. And then, the, the, and then of course, that you have to compress it as well so that the, the moment you compress, it make it the rims very, very hard as well. Of course, and and hence, hence, the, hence, they can go for crazy concave and still yes, be strong. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So so uh, this is your favorite rims, right? Great. This is one yeah. of my favorite rims. Yeah, let's see the audience. Yeah. Uh, Ka Kakuri says uh, RS Watanabe, all right? The Watanabe is the, what is that? The GT Pasabok. The 8086 classic rims. Pasabok. Uh, the 8086, <laughs> the, the, the Palo, mm -hmm. AE Palo. AE Palo. Oh, AE Palo. AE Palo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, 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 the old car, man. But this is I, I, one of the, 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 the Yeah, it's just hard to find uh, in Malaysia. It's very hard to find this. Right? Not, not really, of course. That uh, also got some manufacturer produce it. So we also have it. We also came in stock, but of course it's not original from Japan. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Who I heard the wheel caps are very hard to find, right? The wheel caps. This kind of wheel caps not not so easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think the message usually goes my friends want it. Usually when I when him. I see when I see a lot of this kind of ring, usually they, they just discard the the wheel caps. Some some yeah they don't even ah. like it. That, like the is this caps. is this a, a common replica rims? This one the errors are. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I don't I don't think so. Because this rim, if they have to produce a very nice one, it's actually catered for uh, classic cars. So, but classic cars, the demand is not as high. So, so replica usually don't want to produce this kind of rims. Because when oh. you talk about replica rims, they produce, they want to produce in the big quantity and then they want to sell it fast. So, got so it. This is, yeah, yeah. Got it. So, but, but not to say no replicas, I, I actually I have this as well. So, so got lah. Huh? All right. So, so got lah. So got. All right, Con Con says is uh his I think his E thirty nine has uh has this uh RS yeah, uh, the, the basket lah basket yeah, the basket <laughs> rims BBS RS is also one of the very very classic rims. If you drive a BMW, uh, you're probably looking for something like this, and then yeah, uh, E thirty six E forty nine E thirty nine E thirty nine uh even thirty four twenty four twenty one all those uh, yeah. Yeah, I I I I I I mean E thirty is quite a lot of people use this E thirty as well. But I, yeah. I still I still like the Alpina though. Alpina looks very nice for your car. Oh Alpina, you know, I, you know what since we're all here talking about race, let's show me the Alpina. Yeah. Uh, uh Alpina uh I I oh man Alpina. Okay, Alpina put E thirty uh E thirty Alpina. Yeah, ah uh, I tell you, it looks so sexy on E thirty. Look yeah. at that man. Oh my god. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh look at that. Oh, yo. Beta it's, it's Look at that. I mean, especially, I think, I think when we talk about the more than 10,000 rims, I think it's 16 inches and then they are staggered rims. Means that I think the front maybe seven or back ones, eight inches. Or the one selling yeah. for more than 10,000. And then... A bit wasted, or, uh, put on a 318i, a bit wasted. Uh. But you put on a 325, maybe it worth it. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. To me, uh, when you look at it, uh, I will, I will, if I got the money, probably buy the rim as well. Very nice. 12,000. I decided not to go for I go for bottle yeah, cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bottle cap also. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna show you now. Everyone shared their rims. Uh, we're gonna go for one or one one more one more last favorite rim after mine. My favorite rim actually is the uh uh Bostiner uh Bostiner VFF one oh seven uh, one oh seven. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one I fit with my my BMW M two three five I. I know. Next time I try to get the pictures of your car. I think I I I kept it. Somewhere. It is a picture. This is the I, one you took. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Yeah, that's that's my, yeah. that's my that's my that's my two series. Yeah, this yeah. is my two series. Yeah. And uh, you fit me this car, and I think it looks. I, I mean, how many guys think that this car looks good? Let uh, send me let me know in the comments below if you think that this looks good on my car, on my ex car, my ex car. <laughs> X car, X car. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, this is okay. Then after the that, I went. This yeah. is the eighteen inches. Yes. Because I, I couldn't stand the right. I love how it looks. But I cannot stand how the ride feels all the time. <laughs> I changed this before Evo Enduro 2018, so I at 19, uh, so I can drive it to Thailand. So I got more comfort. Oh, yeah. All the way to Thailand. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but but look at that man! If you guys and the fitment was perfect. It was it was just yeah. the, the 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 fitment was just on yeah. point. Yeah. There was num, no num, no yeah. question for that. I just, I just, I'm just surprising that the uh, actually was Steiner's uh, US actually did ask us how we fix this rim onto your car. Hmm. Okay. We didn't. They, they we didn't. We didn't do any modifications. No, we didn't. We didn't do any modifications. We just tell them what size we fix, and then they are they are good to know because they they saw these pictures and then they sent me a message and then they asked me about this stream. How how do we manage to fix this stream onto the car? 
I said, fix it, and then, but said, what size, then they, 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 no, they just, just keep the note from themselves. Huh? But, yeah. This basically yeah, there was no, there was no modification whatsoever. Yeah. And I think that uh, when I, when I put this rim on, suddenly my car just, I, I just, just realized that, oh, I want to turn it into a whole black car. My car was just black everywhere. It was just a, yeah. like an all black car. La. I really still miss my M235. This is the car when I, <laughs> you know, when I sold this car, I, I, I asked the, the, the dealer to let me drive the car for a bit. And I parked the car on the side and I just cried for 15 minutes because I, I really miss my car. It, it, because it's more than just a car. La. I took it for Evo Enduro. Uh, it was my best friend. I, I could sit in the car. I could, I could, it's like my 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 companion for so long, you know. Yeah. How, how long you have this car for? Uh, to, 2017 to 2019. Uh, oh, 2020. 2020. Oh, 2020. Yeah. Drove a lot. I drove 100, I clocked 100, 150,000 kilometers on this car. Oh, you know? wow. quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, Con, the Alpina yeah. means with them shock. Yeah, expensive. Thanks, Sherman. You guys, if you guys think this car is good looking. Yeah. Okay, let's go on the last few questions before we end. Okay, let's uh, stop right. admiring rims and then we go to do where's my car. Okay, so uh, Dinesh, what's the do's and don'ts for rim upsizing? What's your, what's okay. how do you ask this question? Okay. Uh, of course, always uh, know what's your car first. Uh, I can advise you according to the cars. But general rule of thumb is that if you want to upsize, understand what is the current size you're using. Uh, usually, uh, go maybe one or two. Don't go two inches. Four. Means that one two inches up. But means that if you are using a sixteen inches, mm -hmm. maybe try to go stick it within uh, seventeen or eighteen inches. If you don't want mm -hmm. don't want any problem. Uh, it's a rule of a rule of yeah. thumbs on, but of course that there are some cases we want to up maybe three three size or four size, but depends on what your car. But rule of thumb, one or two sizes. Seventeen, if you're using sixteen inches, seventeen or eighteen. Fifteen means sixteen or seventeen. Yeah, that's mm, that's okay. about it. Then of course that also uh, I can't because it's quite general. So I think this is the thing I can I can. Good, it's a good rule of thumb lah. Yeah, it's it's thumb, yeah. that, then maybe a lot of other more, more, problems. More, more, yeah. More possible problems, huh? okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. John asked a question quite a long time ago. He said, "When you respray or refurbish, uh, 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 would it change the characteristic of the rims, or would it be heavier even if you respray or refurbish?" Mm -hmm. Let's say my Mimi, uh, yeah. I'm going to refurbish my rims because there's scratches, okay. there's like yeah. that mark. Okay. I know that marks, but like you know, like like, like yeah, weird yeah. scratches scratches on it. Cosmetic uh, scratches. Scratches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Would it change so, the characteristic of the rim? Okay. Um. It, it won't change a lot unless that you're talking about cracked rims. But if the rims no crack, basically structure wise is not much problem. Even though that uh if you if you spray it, uh you 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 uh, scratch it, I mean you we spray it. But I mean of course it depends on there's many ways of refurbing the rim. Especially like let's say let's talk about the, the twelve inches rim that you have. You you notice that the chrom the lips are chrome. The, a, a bit shining crooms. So if you want to go back to this kind of uh, finishing, that means that we have to lay the surface of the rims. We have to lay it. So we have to remove a, maybe one or two mm surface from the, the rims to, to create back the, the chrome surfaces. Because uh, mm. if, we, if we don't do this, we, we can't do the shining surfaces. Mm. Uh, so unless that you don't, want, you don't want to lay it out, then we can spray the whole thing as the silver color. So the the I think I think that John probably said if you refurbish it sometimes it actually involve laying. When once you lay the surface, means that you re, you are removing the material of it. So of course that uh you know when you remove material is not always not uh, not such a good idea, but somehow sometimes it's just maybe one or maybe less than one mm, so not much not much different. But if you um if you if you remove a lot, then probably it's not a good idea. Okay, another another way is that another thing is that about repairing the rims. If the rims are seriously dent, sometimes the barrel behind they actually can't, they also remove a certain layer, so that you make the rims more round. So mm -hmm. so when you remove material, all this will actually uh, damaging the the structural integrity of the the rim itself. So sometimes that the more that you repair the rims, they quite quite the more I repair, the easier to get dent. Uh, this is this is where come from. So, but but usually when we repair rims, we try not to remove material if it's if not necessary. We try to just press it as much as we can. Mm. So this is how we do. So uh we would be heavier. So I don't know. I never I never re refurbish the rims and then become 
heavy. I don't know why. I mean, I don't think that the pain when you spray the pain on it, I don't think that you will increase the weight. Legible, like, legible like, lah, small. I, 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 I don't think so. I never imagined that. We, but I mean, sometimes when you remove material, the rims become lighter. Hmm. Okay. I, I think answer your question. If you think that's uh, useful, let us know. If it's useful, uh, let's go. Last question: Is there effect on accuracy of speedometer after upsizing? Okay. So, so uh, the upsizing, the the accuracy of speedometer is a lot of things to do with the the overall diameter of the 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 upsizing you're doing. Uh, imagine that if you go for the yeah, okay general rule of thumb is that if you, if you change a set of 16 inches and then you upgrade it to a 17 inches so when you put side by side the rim and tires the tires together the diameter must be about the same so it means that if you if you if you increase the size of the rim but you shrink the size of the tire yes if it's correct. the same then no problem that then, then you i mean you try to stick it to get almost the same then usually you don't have any issue even though you are using a white tires, it doesn't make sense. But I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really matter a lot as long as the rolling diameter is the same. So mm. this is actually another. This is how we uh, determine what tires that to choose for your if you're upsizing. So we usually look at what you what you're using right now, and then we we recommend accordingly to that particular size. So let's say let's say you're using a two hundred five fifty five sixteen. So probably we are, I recommend to one five fifty six seventeen. So when you put side by side, they're about the same. So so as long as the 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 last diameter is the same. The then. diameter of the rim and tires is about the same. You usually have no issue, but but you're talking about maybe half an inch different, also not so much. So try try to try to stick. But but if you increase maybe more than one inches, ah, uh, then you'll feel a lot of problem. But but the problem is not only about the accuracy of the speedometer, it's actually about the 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 rolling diameter. It means that the car, if you go for bigger rim and tires, means overall diameter increase. Your car also drive funny. It doesn't drive normal. You feel that hey, why my car a bit more uh heavy because the rolling diameter is increased. Uh mm. makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Mm. I think it's a, a very useful question. I didn't know that. So yeah. uh Wei Jian Lin, if you if you answer your question, please let us know in the comments below as well. Yeah. All right. Uh I'm gonna answer one more question before we end because it's getting pretty late. <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. MCO, we can't go out anyways. Yeah. All right, let's look over here. Thoughts about carbon fiber and magnesium. Oh, before oh, that, uh, okay, Nick just wanted to say, uh, I remember one time during CNY, tire valve broke. And there's no tire shop open. I drove to Jeff's shop, all right? Uh, oh, it wasn't open, but Jeff was at CNY prayers and then he fixed his valve. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, really? I also, I, I don't remember, but th thanks, man. Thanks thanks for mentioning this. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah, it's true, it's true. I mean, I I, I, I met Jeff for so long. He's, he's very helpful. He, 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 he's very helpful with tires, so... How do you recommend uh um Jeff? Look, I don't I don't make money for endorsing Jeff, but I just <laughs> sharing this as a car enthusiast, another car yeah. enthusiast. Um yeah. it's the shop that you feel that you can get advice uh, and they're very patient with you, not just Jeff, the, his team as well. And uh, I think I, I recommend some lady friends to go there because a lot of lady friends they are afraid they get conned, yeah. you know. And a lot of the workshop they don't speak English, right? So yeah. <laughs> and some of them they're yeah. like me, you know. So they go to the shop, they 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 scared they're gonna con, you know. So uh, a lot of them feel comfortable going to Jeff's place in uh, Shah Alam. So uh, yeah, please check out King of Rims in Shah Alam over there. Yeah, yeah, right, all right. Uh, well, can say this story. Tabi, Tabi. Okay, last one. Okay. okay. Uh, thoughts about fiber and magnesium wheels. I, I know you guys don't sell it because it's yeah. super rare. But what do uh, what's the okay? The 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 issue about uh, okay. Uh, let's talk about magnesium rim. Magnesium actually magnesium rims uh is a bit old tech means that uh, those magnesium rims are actually very lightweight. The rim itself, the material itself is very, very lightweight. But however, um, I, I don't see it's very, very commonly used right now, probably because that the material probably is not strong enough right now for the standard right now. Uh, so I see a lot of alloy, alloy, aluminum alloy right now more than magnesium. Magnesium, last time we are talking about those um, that BBS RC, those, those really, really classic rims. Those are really lightweight rims and then they are cast rims and then uh, yeah, but however, it's not really well used right now. So, uh, old type magnesium rims, not very common use right now. Carbon mm. fiber, however, um, I don't see a lot in, in Malaysia, and then I don't see a lot of factory produce rims. We probably, mm, I'm, not, I'm not so sure. Man. Wait, would you say carbon fibers are not practical? Uh, I may, may, maybe in terms of that, maybe, uh, 
I haven't really seen a, 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 a manufacturer actually produce these ribs. I, I think probably because of cost, cost as well, because if you talk about one set, maybe 20 or 40,000, Probably and usually, no usually it come on uh, on stock on cars that means the manufacturer maybe, produce uh, itself. Maybe, maybe that those really really supercars then probably they produce, but yeah. I, I don't see this a lot. But I mean, uh, but uh, I I know uh last last when I before the MCU I went to Thailand and then I still see them uh Lenso rings produce many. I mean the carbon fiber rings. Uh, but when I talk talk about I talk to them about it, are they going to mass produce? They say that no, not really because no but people asking for it. But what's the yeah. weight on, on those on those rims? Like uh, uh twenty inches, uh. <laughs> maybe seven six kilo is damn lightweight, man. But but, but Porsche, you also have to achieve that achieve nine also right nine ten kilos. Yeah, nine nine brands speaking twenty inches less than nine kilo is fantastic. It's very very good rims, uh. But problem is that um, I don't think that the demand is not that. One mm. is another thing is that people people still uh, like me like me. I'm still quite skeptic if. You give me a set of carbon fiber spot rim for my car and then I put on the car. I, I'm, I'm still quite skeptical. So, but mm. um, maybe in the future we can see more more of these rims right now. But mm. right now, I don't I didn't think so. But we are slowly trending to four stream right now. We are slowly moving the transition to that. Mm. You know right now, now we are, we are, I'm selling a lot of flow four stream right now, mm. flow form. We are moving towards four stream right now. I see. Uh so right now, uh, yeah, this is this is the, uh, this is the direction I can see. Uh. I see. I see. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, question: Is it because magnesium is flammable? Uh, mm. or just the old technology? This, uh, this it's, it's not, uh, I, actually, I, I, I'm, I'm not really. I, I don't because I don't have a lot of experience with it. My, my only experience with this is magnesium rims is that. Uh, it's I know it's very lightweight, and then I th I think the structure is not so strong. Not the standard the 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 rim produce is not doesn't meet the standard right now. The standard no 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 needs to be harder lah because it's they, they, they need to be harder. Tires, yeah. yeah, they need to be harder. So and then I think the magnesium alloy rims are actually the material itself is really expensive itself. But actually, I tell you what, I'm not I'm not really I, I, I'm not, here, probably uh, I'm I, I'm I, I'm giving the wrong information. But the I can tell you that magnesium alloy rims are not so well used right now. It's not, mm, not in the phasing out lah. They're phasing, phasing out now. Right. I think it's old tech. But I, I know magnesium alloy rims from the BBS RC. There's a model called BBS RC. Yeah, magnesium alloy rims. But I see. It's it's so phasing like, out like about twenty years, twenty years ago. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the answer. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you think he answered your question, please let us know in the comments and give us some loves and some likes. Yeah. All right, it's been one and a half hours, man. Oh, okay. Fast. Yeah. Very and let's go and play some blue with my car and then let's call it a day, okay? Yeah. Uh, right. Mr. Tan is asking, uh, who's Meow Meow is that? It's mine. Let me see. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Hey. So my oh, cat is here. Meow. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> ah, nice, man. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Okay, let's go and play some dude where's my car. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh dude where's my car is a game where I like to play my audience, uh, so my guests and the audience. What we do is that uh see we, we Simon did a nice edit on that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get the pictures, I know it's yeah. Dude, so so uh what we do is that we pick two cars and then uh, me and my guests my guest will go first and then he'll pick which car to choose and it's a great way to understand uh what kind of car enthusiasts they are and feel free in the comments to, to participate as well okay uh yeah yeah so just just shout in the comments below what car would you pick among the two as well okay so uh let's see over here uh let's start with the first one simon let's go with the first one Okay, so I know you like uh I, I know you've been looking at this car. You texted yeah, yeah. me and then say okay. I mean oh. uh this car I think I think this uh the M the F82 was really was was really quite successful, uh, I can say that uh, uh, it's, yeah. I, I, I would yeah. define this car as a very, very muscular car. And then the I mean I mean compared to the E92, I think the F eighty two is a is a huge leap in performance, you know. Yes. Yeah, huge leap. 
Yeah. It has a uh, actually after after doing a lot of research, this car has a lot of uh potential. One is it you can you can actually upgrade it and then you will produce quite a significant increase of horsepower. But and uh, the engine is very stable. And then I asked mm. a lot of I asked around the one of the most uh performed engine because right now when you buy continental cars, you're also a bit afraid about the engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. car, is so car, you know, uh, it has a uh, fantastic. I mean, it's it's a great setup. for for me, yeah. for me, I didn't quite like it, but yeah. uh, I think it's a uh, value for money sports car. This car is really yeah. value for money, lah. For the yeah. the M com the 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 M four com, uh, four hundred fifty uh horsepower and then five hundred fifty. It's Newton's crazy. Top. Wow, it's crazy, crazy man. Yeah. Oh, this and, car, and you can yeah. pick four people in the car. It's, it's a very yes, lot of space yes. in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So would you? Would you pick this as an F F eighty two M four? And audience, please join us with uh, join with us. Let us know which one you pick. This one, or would you pick another sports car, which I think is brilliant, which is the Porsche Cayman seven eight GTS two point five. All right. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, sure. It's not naturally aspirated on this one. Both are not naturally aspirated. Okay. Yes, they are uh, turbocharged. But but the it's GTS turbo. does have a fantastic suspension setup. Uh, way better than eight nine eight one. Okay. So which would you pick between these two? <laughs> if you had to choose between two, because because uh you know let's say they are around three hundred to four hundred thousand ringgit price range. Uh, four three to five hundred thousand ringgit lah. Around there, three fifty to five hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, three hundred plus to five hundred thousand. But of course, uh, of course, the GTS will be much more expensive compared to the F eighty two right now. I don't. Know. But let's say, let's say if you just had to pick these two. Right? Yeah, the price. Yeah, the price, price, price for sports huh? car. You know which one would you pick? <laughs> I, I tell you what. I, I tell you what. I, I've been I've been looking at the M four for quite some times right now. So M four man. Uh, the masculine, uh, right? masculine and strong. It's, it's yeah. very, very muscular car, and then the sound. Oh my god, man! The 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 sound. <laughs> the the sound that the inline six and then the twin turbo charge that that the, the car produced. Ah, oh, man! Wow, you can you can hear, you can you can listen to it all day long, and then you're not getting bored. So and for and for right now, because basically it has a from this being a better sound than the GTS right now. Yeah. Mm, yeah. The so, the the new the new turbocharged uh, GTS. Yeah. The, uh, the, yeah, the GTS, yeah, yeah. 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 But the sound, but 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 but. Yeah, my Lucas. Lucas does, has the Cayman. Uh, G, uh, someone eight Cayman as well, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. My brother does have it, and then the sound actually. Uh, a lot of people complain that the Cayman seven eight the sound is not so nice, but to me, I think not too bad. I I, I like it. The sound is very very impressive. Yeah. But you see, it sounds nice until you drive the nine eight one that actually aspirated. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, the spider. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I do have the the sound of the the M four. I I took. I I went went to check out some cars and then I took some sound from the M four. Oh, I sent to you. It's, oh my god. All right. Yeah, yeah, it sometimes sounds, I just listen great, to yeah. it. I say, wow, cannot sleep, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you picked the M four. So, so I, I I choose the M four right now because because okay. it's just because that uh I I did a lot of research on this car and then, yeah, M four M four. But some, some of the front engine rear wheel drive is still a very nice setup. And then and then and then I do nice have setup. I have yeah and then I have another three three sons so I wanted to enjoy the car as well so M four man. <laughs> which which rim would you fit on this car? Yeah. Oh the M four oh yeah the M four, the M four the best thing about M four is that the, another reason why I picked this car is that oh the rims I can go so concave man, the the front rim I can go up to eight nine point five nine uh that's it the nine 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 point five for the front. And then the ten point five for the rear, ten point five or eleven for the rear. So white rims. The the moment I can go white rims, I can go concave. Mm. So so that's how it goes. The more white, uh, the yeah. more curve I can go. Ah, this is why. Yeah. So what what rim, what what, what rims would be your uh, ideal rims uh, for the M four then? Well, just because the, you probably the, save a lot of money from uh, let's say you got a budget for buy these two car, you save uh, a lot of money. What rims would you fit on this car? Oh, the I, I would say I I just now I did I did mention that I love the the HRE uh the the P one oh one. Well, I I would wow. definitely find some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the 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 actually the and there's another model called B, from the BBS also similar design. I like I like the five spokes and then five double spokes rims. The wide spokes rims, the five five spokes rims, uh, especially for the M M four, you demonstrate the caliper very nicely. Ah, uh, mm. this is why I want. Since I have a big calipers, I want to show it up. Oh, nice, nice. Big, big, big I, I would say the M the, the M four has more 
uh, aftermarket uh, um, adjustability than the Cayman. Yeah. The M4 yeah. takes, takes in the aftermarket better. Cayman, you do a few aftermarket, it feels a bit like eh, a bit weird already. Yeah, yeah, that, but that, M4, M4, when you do aftermarket, it looks really nice, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you, let's say let's say you upgrade the the M4 to maybe a stage one, it, eventually the the horsepower can increase five hundred plus to five hundred. But the looks are the looks of ah, M4 yeah, yeah. suitable for aftermarket guys lah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. 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 look at the chat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Wayne says Cayman GTS. Uh, Jared Cayman. Of course, Jared yeah. you drive a Cayman. Yeah. Uh, Cayman as well. Cheaper. Ah, yeah, cheaper <laughs> tax. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, yeah, you're not right, much. Right. Only ma, you're a few yeah. few hundred uh, hey, one thousand ringgit. The, Hey, the M4, the M4, the Rotex, uh, 3, 000, almost 3,000 plus. Eh? Almost 3,000. Almost 3,000. Okay, okay. It's, it's, a, it's a 3.0 inline 6. So okay. the, the Cayman is 2.5. 2. So a lot cheaper. Yeah, so the Cayman is 2.5. So a lot cheaper. Okay, M4. M4. Oh, no, M4. Okay. I'm happy with the M2. Uh, I do like the M235. Yeah, yeah, I don't really want like Sherman, I agree with you. I, I would pick the M2 above the M4 because uh, I, I, I like the smaller wheelbase more. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, you told me uh, we, we did we did have yeah. this discussion this, uh, uh, yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah, we did we did have Yeah, this. I really like I really like the, the shorter wheelbase, a bit more yeah. dotty. Uh yeah. M4 Cayman, uh neither super appealing to me, but Con will get M4 because it's a BMW yeah. guy. Ah yeah. <laughs> M4. All right. Uh M4, M4 GTS, GTS definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, and I want a different story, uh, bro. <laughs> 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 Who doesn't want a Porsche? Well, yeah. it's, it's a taste, man. Okay, yeah, it's a taste, man. Yeah. Can't accept a four cylinder Porsche. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm with you, Dinesh. <laughs> Kenneth Son says, well, actually, uh, actually quite, quite, quite surprisingly, quite a lot of M4. A lot of M4s around. Yeah, a lot no, of M4. Do you like M4? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I go for M4, man, because of because I know the performance is very nice. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, it's it's a oh, really yeah. it's really good tunable car. Yeah. yeah, a good track car because a long wheelbase as well. Yeah. I think some yes. people like it, and then uh. Front engine rear wheel drive is easier to drive than the mid engine. Uh, no, contrary to belief, mm -hmm. uh, I have driven the M235i and then uh, driven some cars. The mid engine is snap is more snappy. Less is it, it will when you brake traction is like Ugh, you know. Whereas the front engine rear wheel drive this is is a bit slower when you brake traction. So you got it's not so like punch you in the face, you know. Oh, so yeah, it's I more mean... forgiving lah. It's more forgiving lah. If you if you're okay with oversteering, the the front front engine rear wheel drive is a fantastic setup. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I, I'm gonna miss the going to Sepang for a long time, and because ah, it's the MCO. MCO right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, a lot of audience says this. Uh, you know, looking at these two cars. All right now, Jeff picks the M4. A lot of guys, a lot of you guys are picking right, the M4. Yeah. You know, he's this really surprising. As much as I own a Porsche as well and a Spider, yeah. I will pick the the M4 as well. Uh, yeah. between these two, because not because the GTS is a bad car, but uh, yeah. but if the the M put put beside M4, then I you know. Yeah, if if it's a 981, then it's a different story. Okay, uh, yeah. but the oh, but the M4 has a very unique character: the front engine rear wheel drive, uh, and the ability to slide the car like a crazy guy. And yes. so control it, uh, the the M four. Hey, don't don't I, forget I really about the sound, man. The sound of the M, the inline different, six different. turbo. The sound. I, oh my god! You know, I will I will take this car. I will get it black color, and then same thing. Put the Vostainer VFF uh, oh, one zero yeah, seven. Yeah. Hey, yeah, <laughs> the, the Vostainer front front nine point five, back ten point five. Yeah, and then the, uh, and then uh, you know, uh, get it all black, and then the brake calipers. Uh, in blue color or in red color or whatever color is it, or yellow color, just let the brake caliper be different. Yeah, yes. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cayman, yeah. Cayman got sound, bro. Cayman got sound, but then sound like Subaru lah. Uh, <laughs> yes, boxer engine okay lah. But I mean, but uh, but true be told, the Lucas does have it. My my brother does have it. It's a fantastic car. Is, it drives yes, fantastic. The, yeah. the the suspension is way better than the nine in one. Yeah. Like not even better. It's a big jump, you know. But yeah, just the, the part of owning a sports car is a it's not about just the good drive, it's also the emotion, you know. Yes, you know, and the sound is the emotion, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and the vibration, you know, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So for this segment of Dude Where's My Car, the first one, me both me and Jeff will pick the same. So we agree to agree. Okay. Oh, now yeah. let's go to the next one. Okay, next one, completely different. This is the first time we're doing this, something like this. Okay. Let's say I know you're a family guy, you like to pick your children around. 
And uh, would you oh, pick this... something like this? Oh my god, this okay, is... Alexis. No, guys, this car is 1.15 million ringgit. Yes, yeah, okay. one mil there's, pass, one, there's one in my condo. Anyone who buys this car is a baller, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, they, okay. they will buy, they will buy the, the, I think they will buy the Alpha and then modify it to this one. Yeah, but yeah. but I saw in my out in my condo, there's one guy who drives a uh, driver drives the LM350. Oh my god, original. Yes. Oh, the moment they announced the launch of it, they're they, one of the first few customers. Would you oh would you buy this for the price tag? Okay, for, for your okay, for you, you're probably thinking of your children and stuff. Yeah. You know, think yeah. about like let's say business people, they shop for me around. My guys from India, they fly over, I pick them up, or I ask my driver to pick them up in this car, or almost the same price another car like this a mercedes s 63 amg oh yeah so then now which one would you pick oh well i, I wouldn't i wouldn't spend one mil plus for the uh, personally i'll definitely go for the s 63 amg oh well, i saw this car it's <laughs> very very nice i will I'll definitely pick the mercedes more i mean let's I'll say you are you are boss you are uh, someone shuffle you around or sometimes you occasionally drive the car uh i still go for i wouldn't i wouldn't pay one mil plus for uh mpv man i don't know just just i, I would I'll probably take the, the, lux, the, the, the i, I heard the I, interior but, is super lux so bro i mean one mil plus oh. i mean if the price tax <laughs> maybe price tax is lower than i mean i'm uh, speaking i wouldn't pay more than 300 plus uh, but the one is just me uh, because alpha i can get a very good alpha and then very very 300 plus maybe the, for the latest model but still I'm, I'm not of course definitely there's when they come on this model there's there's some market demands for this but still one point plus million i will top up a bit i get the urus man i, get a, I, I get a lamborghini urus i don't care <laughs> <laughs> i already get the car it's, it's still a suv and then it's a sport suv and then cost one 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 plus one point plus i go for that nice well. <laughs> and then i can put in a set of 23 inches in you still drive like drive fantastic <laughs> but still okay, i don't know i don't know i don't know i i would definitely if i have to choose between these two i go for the amg s63 so uh, rather be suffered in the s63 I, I, can, I, can, I can have a driver drive this car i can drive myself i can sit behind i can i can enjoy the ride and then it's six and then this the s63 the sound is also very very yeah. nice and then also, uh if you drive yourself to penang or go yeah, on the road trip with your children yeah. Yeah. yeah but let's see on the chat over here landslide uh yes uh, let's, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh nobody nobody is saying uh, hey no nobody no, no one of you here will say at lexus lm 350 yeah uh, i i one, one mil plus for uh, mpv I, I i i really don't understand man. hey the well, only people who do it they're they are super baller uh, i'll tell you that all right same yeah. same i'll pick the s63 you know it's uh it's just uh you can you can you can drive it yourself yeah. Someone can drive you around. Yeah, and then a it's a very car. powerful car. Yeah. Oh no doubt about that, man. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's a S sixty three, right? Yeah, it's a S63. But but it's but it's so baller, you know. Like I, I think like anyone who spent one point one five million on an on an MPV, uh, yeah, you're really a baller, man. You just I like this car. I like the Alpha. I just want the best Alpha. <laughs> but because there's but, something about the Alpha, uh, I'll be honest, uh, you see, uh, Every time I sit in the Alpha, uh, when I travel, you know, I, I when I travel, when I used to travel before COVID, yeah. I find the Alpha are, uh, uh, they are like, uh, they are actually less comfortable than limousines, you know. Less you comfortable than limousines, you sure? Um, no, because it's very big, you know, the executive lounge, whatever you call it, uh, it's very big, it's spacious. Yes, I agree. But there's yeah. something about the, the car's height and the chassis, right? Uh -huh. It feels a bit, wobbly you know and that feeling uh doesn't make me feel like i can sleep in the car well oh, you know? like you're talking but, about but I speak the, in the, the uh, chassis stiffness uh, you know there's a there's a there's a comfort that comes from the chassis stiffness you know like the the the, the, the seven series for me uh the latest one the face lifted one is my favorite limousine because the the rear because the car is so stiff right there's there's a sort of comfort from the stiffness from the chassis and and the and the mpv doesn't give you that sort of feeling you know you know, yeah, but and, and, and the other thing is the cocoon. The cocoon feeling makes me feel very comfortable. The small space, the short roof, in a in a in a in a in a limousine makes you feel more like wow. I mean, uh, oh, it's a limo. <laughs> but, yeah. but but talking about the Alpha, you're talking about the the current model, or you talking about the previous model? Oh, even the current model, the, the executive the, lounge, the, the, the executive lounge. Okay, surprisingly, yeah. because because when when I 
I I I I do I do experience to drive the car. Um, uh, I I usually I do, I'm a driver. I don't I'm not the passenger. So um, the my, but the passenger when you talk about the seat behind is really really comfy. You know, I, I don't know. It's like you know like like yeah yeah. When the car is stationary, it's very comfy. But yeah, when the car yeah. starts moving, no, no, okay. doesn't feel so a bit wobbly maybe. Yeah, yeah, a bit a slight wobble. I don't don't quite like the feeling. But the, the where whereas the S or the even the E or the seven every time I fly to India, I always ask for uh, for E class or ask for a seven series uh, because it just feels more comfortable than 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 uh, MPV stuff for some reason uh. yeah I understand I yeah understand. and it's a cocoon feeling uh, very cocoon feeling maybe maybe, maybe maybe because of the yeah maybe because I drive a lot of sports cars uh, I, and sports cars are very small so it just feel more <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is my feeling. This is my feeling. Okay. Understand. Okay. So for this segment, I agree with uh, Jeff. It's a landslide, and all of you guys agree with uh, S sixty three. Okay. This is just man. just wanted to showcase the absurdity of an LM three fifty. <laughs> it's yes, absurd. Correct. One <laughs> point one one point one five mil. My God. Crazy. Oh, it goes one point one five. Okay. A lot. Yeah. Last one. Let's go for the last one. We're gonna yeah. go into something more exciting. Okay. So last one. We're gonna go into. Uh, would you get some of this? This will be a modern Ooh, classic. Four five eight. Car. Four five eight. Oh, nice. four five eight. I mean, it's the last of the naturally aspirated Ferraris. Yes. yes, this is actually one of my favorite Ferraris. Yeah, and then yeah. and then the fun fact about the rims. Uh, I don't know. When, when I talk about rim, the the cars. I usually talk about the rims because I'm a rim yeah. guy. I, yeah. I have the opportunity to to uh to how to say to to inspect this one of the rims. The twenty inches are uh, less weight less than ten kilo. You basically the twenty inches when you can pick it up, you just buy one hand. This ring. Wow. Wow. I'm not joking. When this car first come out, then I opportunity to change the tires. Oh my god, when I look at it, oh shit, the, the rims is damn lightweight. Mm. Nice one, design. one of my favorite, one of my favorite rims. Forge, uh, full forge, yeah. Full yeah. forge rims. And then uh I think I think this the the, the first one actually the cockpit is the cockpit look very, very like the, the aeroplane, you know. This yeah. is one of the it, first. It's when Pinot Parilla uh, came in to design this ah, car. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, how about you? The four thirty is like the design is like, and then the interior feel like okay, la, sorry lah, guys. Who those who do you guys who drive four thirty? The interior feels like on that accord. Okay, for me. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the yeah, I, player, I, 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 you know? yes, yes, but the the four five eight the this is really when I look man. The first the first variety when again is that. Yeah. Huh? The four thirty is like the Italians. They 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 had good materials, but yeah. they just assemble it like crap. You know, it's so sad. <laughs> It just they focus all the energy on the engine, the drivetrain, gearbox, yeah. everything, uh, yeah. brake. But then the interior, you just say uh, whatever lah. You just yeah. take whatever you want, you know. Yeah, yeah, just but, uh, just four five eight. Yeah, but the four five eight, they start getting really serious about the design. I think it looks really sexy. Well, yeah, I so this, the, this is the this is the future classic because it's yeah, the last one. I remember the, the, I, I the steering. The, I think the, the the start button is on the steering. Is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. This, yeah it, this is the, the the first car. I think I think I can't remember. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Four five eight. Yeah. So, so whether well, okay, would you pick the four five eight? Okay. Or would you pick another future classic? Okay. The Mercedes SLS AMG. Oh. Okay. Let's be okay. honest. Are they? These are two they, cars. They, these two yeah. cars performance wise, uh, both yeah, on the yeah, track. Yeah, you yeah, know the four five eight will do better. There's no doubt. Yeah. No question. Yeah. Four five eight will do better on track. Yeah. It will yeah. perform better. It will corner better. Whatever, right? Yeah. But, but which of these two cars would you pick? Well, yeah, almost this, this, price tag. It's around eight hundred thousand to one million, you know, yeah. nowadays. Yeah, the but the the of course the SLS, the seagull, what what they call it, seagull. The the, uh, the, the golf, golf wing, golf wing. Uh, go, uh, the golf wing, yeah. The, this is very sneak. I mean, very very yeah. iconic, iconic golf wings. Yeah, correct. Yeah. But um, I I'll, I'll pick. Okay, one one cup one cup performs better, looks Definitely. better. Yeah. SLS uh, is more of a. Doesn't perform as well, but it yeah. looks unique. It's a it's a, it's okay. a look that you know when you look at the car, you know it's one car only. There's, there's ah. no other brand that have this. Okay, let me let me predict. I think it's gonna be Landside as well. I think four five eight maybe. I will. I definitely go four five eight man. Four five eight. And then my four five eight. If I'm gonna pick four five eight, it's gonna be red color man. Sorry. Red color. Yellow. Red color four <laughs> five eight. It, it cannot. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yellow color is. Yeah, nice. Fer Ferraris have to be red. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it has to be red. Especially oh, for this, oh, the, the mid-engine coupes. Yes. Uh, they, 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 they do look very good in red colors. Yeah. Yes, correct. The 458, if I uh, we're gonna own one 458, it's gonna be red color. So yeah. Okay. Okay. 458 for me. Yeah. You know, these two cars will really hold its value for a bit because it's uh, uh the 458 will it's the last of naturally aspirated, you know. Yeah. 
uh, uh and it, uh, the specialty the price just still won't come it, down you know it's just, it, right now i think the price are, are also around 800 plus right 800 plus yeah yeah, yeah. Right, plus. but especially you're talking about like uh 1.1.2 and then the apeta specially you know it's ah, like yeah. two million or something crazy yeah. man yeah, crazy. okay let's let's see on the chat let's see on the chat okay all right uh okay we have sls okay, okay. sls okay okay Four, five, eight. Five, five, okay. Con, where is Con? Con says SLS. Wow. Hey, okay. Okay. Well, Four, five, it's a dual dual class Ferrari SLS. Yeah. Oh, just the okay. Boss, SLS. Oh, surprisingly, a lot of SLS. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. But the performance different, man. <laughs> Big different. Okay, lah. They're from different era, and ah. uh, I mean, it's a front engine, rear wheel drive. Uh, ah. it, it is a different kind of uh, car. And I think for sure, uh, the SLS AMG is a more difficult car to, to put a good yeah. lap time and, and drive yeah, up the highlands will be a yeah. pain in the butt, you know, because it's so heavy. Yes, you know, right. whereas the 458 is so light and so powerful, yeah. you know. But for me, uh, uh, if uh, I have 800k to 1 million uh, to choose between these two cars, uh, yeah, I would choose the SLS uh, because SLS. The, look, uh, the look of it uh, is so. Okay. For me lah, for me lah, uh, uh, I, I do enjoy a good drive, but yeah. there are certain cars in your life, you look at it, it's like, it's so iconic. inspiring, you know, iconic, you know, and, and it's the last yeah, of the golf wing doors. The golf wing, yeah. yeah. And in the silhouette, uh, you drive, even if the door down, uh, you, if you just drive and just the silhouette, uh, yeah. you look at the silhouette, you know it's only one car, it's only one car, it's the SLS. Uh. You know? Even you close the door, you, you you look at it, right? It's only one car, you know, and then okay. and uh and, and when you open the door, I mean, you know, if I have a if I have a, a garage, a private garage, yeah, I will leave the car with the door open. Oh <laughs> just, and it's yeah, and it's this color. It's this oh, color. The, the gray color, the, the gray color. The silver color. I love the silver color. The silver color, gray. Silver color. Uh, yeah, it, it looks so sexy, you know, and uh it's not shouty. But it looks very like masculine and you know, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. There is no other car in the world that looks like that. You know, it, it, that's what yeah. I mean. Uh, the 458 is like, okay, you know, maybe it's because, you know, for the non car guys, it's like maybe it's Lamborghini, maybe it's a, a Ferrari, uh, uh, you know. Yeah, you know? I mean, but but still the 458, of course, that the first um the the natural experience any engine, but Last the, one, design yeah. wise, if you compare to the F the F because this I think the they, they came out the uh, uh, the uh, the design is very very modernistic and then the yeah, well, very very nice, yeah. is is yeah. still very very uh very looks very good no doubt nice okay here's how, here's how i say the 458 is a better looking car that performs yeah. better yes, the sls right. is an ugly it's looking iconic. car it's less it's beautiful but it's yeah. iconic <laughs> I know, and uh, uh, I, I got uh, and also a last thing is a personal thing talk about noise yeah. I yeah. do like the German noise more than the Italians. The Italian right. noise is a bit for me. Uh, uh, the high pitch noise is nice, not okay. my thing, you know. Okay. But the but the, the the you know the 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 way the AMG the the sound go. Oh. <laughs> you know the way oh. the, you know it is a very deep growl, and I think the the SLS has that 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 there's something special for that lah. Okay, like no right, no wrong. It's just, no right, uh, wrong. Yeah. just yeah. showing Personal what price. kind of things we appreciate from cars, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, but four five eight definitely will be it's amazing. The way it sounds, man, it's just it's yeah. nice, yeah. but not my cup of tea, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Again, uh, again, I said that for me, I don't know. I I still prefer the of course Ferrari, and then uh, four five eight is gonna be. But I'm telling you what, I I have some I have some feeling towards the four five eight. Uh, it's it's very very nice car for me, and then red color man Ferrari have to be red, red color. color. Definitely hey. have to be red. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Let's think about what yeah. Con is saying. Uh, Ferrari is still making the V8 Berlin yeah, uh, yeah, in the four five lineage. Yes, because the they, yeah, they're still have... using it. The SN90 yeah. Stradale is still using the V8. Uh, yeah. SL... but the SLS have no proper successor. That's true. Yeah, the Go Wing. I don't. I don't need to produce any Go Wings anymore. No, the the GT GTR and GT are all uh all, all, all the door. normal door. Yes, yes, no, yes. Yeah, yeah. But but con say something. But you can't lose choosing either. That's true. Yeah. Both both are great cars. And and uh, in ten years time, anyone drive a four five eight still awesome. Anyone drive an SLS also awesome. There's no there's no 
you know, we look back, in, 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 in 10 years' time, all the turbocharged Ferraris comes out and hybrid and electric city. Yeah. You know, and you look at the 458s, you'll be like, wow, that's a beautiful sounding car. You won't lose. You yeah. won't lose. Yeah. And look at the SLS AMG, great sounding car, and the Gowing, both also will not lose. Yes, the Gowing is still very, very iconic. The Gowing is very yeah. 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 I, I, oh, I, I tell you that car, man, it looks so, for me, lah. I, I, the, I truly agree. Only, I understand, understand where you come from. Only uh, Mercedes where I would really drew myself over. It's the only car. In fact, I, I, I told Bobby, this is my, my next, if I have a dream car that I want next, this is it. This is it. SLS. Yeah, the SLS. Yeah. More, more, than a, more than a Ferrari, Roma, Ferrari, FM, Stradale, uh, 458. If someone gives me the, enough money to buy a, a, a Roma, or uh -huh. I, I, will take the, I will take the spare, I will, I will buy a SLS and the spare will give it away. Because the <laughs> SLS is more beautiful for me, lah. Okay. For me, in, in, in my eyes, is it's a, such an amazing design compared to, you no, know, to a lot of the the modern cars. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how much? How much does this cost at the SLS right now? I'm not. Uh, second hand, maybe eight hundred thousand, eight eight seventy, eight ninety oh. 890 to one million. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and it's still holding its value. I believe the value will hold or increase. We, we I, don't, I don't. I don't really see a lot of SLS. In I see a lot of GD, very rare GDR, GDS. I've seen uh, quite a few GDR, GDS, but I never yeah. seen SLS right now. I haven't seen yeah. before. I mean, because the, it's, 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 a, it's not a great looking car. That's the thing. The GTR is a great looking car. Oh, yes, it's very nice. Right? Yeah, very, very but nice. This, this is not a great looking car, but it's iconic. The engineering fit and then the, 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 the engine is, a, is, a, is an engineering fit. And I think a lot of people uh, who really buy this car, they enjoy <laughs> that, that, that thing, you know. Yeah. yeah, but the GTR is way better looking for sure. I, I agree, the GTR is way better looking, but yeah. you know, for me, you know, wow, it just looks so sexy. Yeah, yeah. the long the going is very, very nice. Yeah, all right, okay. So, okay. we've really talked for two hours. Uh, yeah. this thing do is my car. Okay, yeah, uh, I hope you have fun. Uh, I hope your audience you're having fun as well. Let us know in the comments if you're having fun or give me some love, some likes. It's been two hours, it's 12 o'clock. No, no. It's time for bed. For bed. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let you guys know about the uh, gift. Uh, oh, we should let us know earlier. Sorry, I'm so uh, sorry. Okay, how uh, do you claim your gift? Okay, okay. Uh, so so like I said that uh, if you guys uh want to claim, I mean the the free balancing and free tire rotations, uh, just send me your uh your name, your phone number, and then your car number, and then the first twenty percent will be entitled. Uh, first twenty percent who send me the message will be entitled for it. And then you can redeem it, uh, because since now it's MCO, I'm not. We are. We don't know when is it gonna end. So I think that uh, it's fair enough until September, maybe end of September, end of September. So you can Great. claim it within this time period, time time frame. So for first twenty people, mm. only uh, and and one one person one car. Okay, don't one say oh, I got three cars like Thomas said. I got three cars. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, send your your name, your mobile number, and the car plate number to the number over there zero one two nine eight two zero six nine three. All right, you get a free balancing and high rotation at King of Rims. Uh, by thirtieth of uh, September. Okay, you yeah. claim that by thirtieth of September, but but claim it by sending the 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 message, and then uh, when you give ready, you 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 can do it by thirtieth of uh yeah. of September. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. So, so again, I, I hope you guys uh have uh, a bit more clearer pictures about uh replica versus original. However, I don't I don't think we we cover enough. If you guys have any questions, maybe you can send a message. Maybe you can uh just ask me. Or I answer them as much as I can. So mm -hmm. another reason why message yeah. uh, messaging your rooms, yeah. 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 So another reason why I want to do this is actually because that I got a lot of questions. So mm -hmm. uh, customers, I think back and forth ask me a lot similar questions so i just want them to uh, uh just if you guys watch this video and then me and thomas talk a lot about second rims or brand new rims original rims or replica rims so you guys can know a better pictures of it so great yeah. yep but uh, uh jeff is more than happy to talk about cars and i think uh yeah, what i love to bring people in talk gear and even all my my uh my vlogs or my videos that yeah. produced like recently i i uh, refurbish and uh refresh my old me mini yeah. uh i like to bring my cars to people who are also car enthusiasts so for them to answer your questions is not work for them it's just uh, they just like to do it because it's, they like it lah, you know so that's why i like to bring this kind of uh, people to 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 my audience all right so uh please uh, send uh, jeff a message you want to talk to them uh, instagram is the king of rims malaysia or you go to facebook 
send a yeah, message. Uh, more yeah, than happy to WhatsApp, WhatsApp me straight away if you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I will answer you get a lot of dream advice. Yes, All right. right. Yeah. Uh, and mm-hmm. just drive your car over there where MCO is over at uh, King yeah. of Rings. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's it. It's been a it's twelve o'clock, two hours into the show. Uh, yeah. Every time we talk, it's always very long. <laughs> I, I don't think All we right. talk enough though. But but I mean, okay. Yeah. Sure. No problem. And uh, yeah. we can we can always do this again. No problem. Sure. All right. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, Jeff, anything else you want to share before we end? Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you if you guys want looking for sport rims, uh, always check out our Facebook. Uh, we have uh, Facebook or Instagram. We have a lot of pictures over there. If you find something that you like, snap a photo, send to me. Then I will tell you whether uh, we have it for your car or not. But uh, like I said, that we have more than right now currently. I think two thousand plus set of different rims. So whatever your car driving, you probably have something for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, they have yep. a lot, so, yep. every, lot of rims. Yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, please, uh, if you want to claim the free uh, balancing and high rotation, send a message over there. Please. Name, phone number, and also your um your car, your car number plate. Yeah, car number plate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And also, if you if you know someone who needs it, okay. But guys, one person, one car. All right, twenty people. Say, get it for it's gone. Yeah, give, okay? give them chance, lah, brother. Give, give them, them chance, chance. Ah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching, Jeff. Anything else? Okay. Good night. Right. Please stay Thank safe. You. Numbers are going crazy out there. Stay in yes. as much as possible. Yes, uh, please. get the vaccine. Okay. Yep. And uh, we'll stay safe. Stay safe. Okay. Yeah, thank, right, you. thank you so much for, 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 for coming and join us in the Talk Gear. We'll see you in the next Talk Gear next week. Next week, we're going to talk about detailing. Okay. We're going right, to bring cool. in the best detailer in Southeast Asia, I believe, or in Malaysia. We're going to bring in Darren from Auto Detailer. We're going to talk about detailing next week. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Rest well. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.